come and deliver the word of God. So that this Karochi, they will watch them and an insult and a one is to whatever the Lord placed on your heart, my brother. Take your liberty. They will be doing that. This way, it's going to be. Praise the Lord. It's a uh, pleasure to be back here in the in the service here again tonight. I'm going to put my watch here this time. Amen. Amen. I love the word. I love the things of God. There's nothing better for us to do than come around the things of, of God. He made us. He knows all about us. He has a purpose for us. So the best thing we can do is turn to Him. He knows how to guide us. He knows how to inspire us. He knows what you have need of tonight. And so we, we come with confidence this evening. We come in faith. Believing that He hears us. He sees us. And He can uh, do uh, miracles in our lives tonight. Do you believe God is a miracle? miracle working God. You believe he heals the sick. You believe he delivers the lost. You believe he's a savior tonight. So we're expecting to see great things this evening. Because wherever he is, there's freedom. There's liberty. There's the supernatural. Amen. Amen. So don't miss him tonight. Don't miss him. But let's recognize him this evening. Just listen for that word. God knows where you're at. He knows where you're living. He knows your needs. So listen when he speaks. He'll have a word for you tonight. When he speaks to your situation. That's not me. That's the Holy Spirit. Just say, Yes, Lord. You see me. You know all about me. I invite you. I receive you. Let it be unto me. Amen. Amen. We're going to turn our Bibles to the book of Mark. Chapter 5. This is the story of Jairus' daughter. It's a beautiful story of uh, resurrection, of healing. Amen. So we want to look at the story tonight. And I trust it will increase your faith to receive the things that you have need of. How many need a healing touch tonight? Amen. Amen. Well, he's the healer tonight. You're going to find out that he is the healer. He heals us of our diseases. He's concerned about your health tonight. So have faith in God. Mark 5 and 21 reads like this. I want to read the whole story uh, right at the beginning. So uh, then you get the whole story. And then if you have to leave, you can leave. But what I want to do after we've read the story, we want to start opening it up. We want to start peeling back the layers. But at least if we read the whole story, you'll have got the whole thing. So Mark 5 and 21. When Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. 
I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him, and thronged him. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years, and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but grew worse. And when she had heard of Jesus came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And, and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he and he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. And while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead, why troublest thou the master any further? And as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. He suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and seeth the tumult and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he saith unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, but when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the, fa and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitha Kami, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And straightway the damsel arose and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years. And they were astonished with great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it and commanded that something should be given her to eat. Gracious Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before you now. We have read your word. Lord, it stirs our hearts to see you moving in the midst of your people. And they could touch you and be healed. And just a touch from your hand, they would raise from the dead. Lord, you said you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
Tonight we look to you, Father. You are the same one here tonight. May you come into our midst here tonight. May you walk among us. May you touch us tonight, Lord. We need a touch from you tonight. So we invite you, Lord Jesus. Come and take your word now, Lord. And break it to us. Open our eyes that we may see. Increase our faith. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You may have your seats. So now we want to start digging. We're going to start opening the word. We don't want to just read the story like a story. But we want to go read between the lines. We want to see what is there for us tonight. I don't want to just have church tonight. I want to see a living God. I want to see him alive. I want to see what my part is in the story. How, how we can touch him and be healed. We want to be able to touch him tonight and not be afraid and not worry but have faith in him because he is the healer. He is the same one tonight. So let's see what the, the setting looks like. The conditions of the day. The Bible says that he went to Capernaum this, this was a time of great miracles and wonders. Just before the story, Jesus tells a story about the, the parable of the mustard seed. That mustard seed faith. Just that small little seed that can move mountains. I wonder how our, big our faith is tonight. He's talking about just a little bit of faith that can move mountains. I hope we, we can see that tonight. Just give him what you have. Whatever faith you have tonight, extend it to the Lord because it can move mountains for you tonight. Then we see how Jesus calms the storm by speaking to it. Showing that he has authority over nature. That even the winds and, and nature obeys him. This is the man who was walking in their midst. He could speak to, the, to nature. Nature obeys him. He's telling them have faith. Speak the word. Even nature will obey. Speak to your mountain. And then we see how Jesus casts out devils out of the maniac of Gadara. Proving that he has power over the devil. He has power over the enemy. This is who was walking in their midst. This is who was on the scene. To, to some he was just a man. But he was more than a man. He was God in flesh. He was their savior. He was the lamb of God. He was walking amongst them. They could see him. They saw the miracles. I hope it's not become common to you tonight. It's just not something that happens and we get used to it and we get bored we're talking about a living God tonight he's still a miracle working God tonight he can still cast out devils tonight he can speak to your storm tonight this is the one who was there with them and I believe he's here tonight I can feel his presence here tonight and all he's waiting for it's for a hand to touch him. A hand of faith to reach out. And you can be changed. He is God tonight. 
Then it says Jesus passed over again by ship unto the other side. Yes, Marla don ekke adariki velina pudu. I'm so glad Jesus passed over the side. Yesu Kristu varu adariki daati velladu dani patta santoshanga undi. He's coming to the other side. Aina maroka prakka gosu unnadu. When God goes somewhere he has a purpose. Devudu ekkadigena chaduku prayanam chestunnadu. He's got someone in mind. Aayaniki manasulo evaro undu uddesham tho untadu. Just like that Samaritan woman. Elagante samare srivale. He says I need to go to Samaria. Nenu samareeki vellali ani annadu. Because there was a woman there. Endukanta kuda oka sriyudu that needed him. Aayana avasaramu aameku. So when he says he's passing over again by ship. Aayana done ekki అతరికి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు అని చెప్పినప్పుడు హి ఇస్ గోయింగ్ ఫర్ రీజన్ ఆయన ఒక కారణం చేత దాటి వెళ్తున్నాడు సమన్ నీడ్స్ టు బి హీల్ ఎవరో ఒకరికి స్వస్థత అవసరము సో జీసస్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ అగైన్ టు దిస్ ప్లేస్ కాల్డ్ కెపర్నియం యేసుక్రీస్తు వారు అక్కడ కెపర్నియం అనే ప్రాంతానికి మరల వచ్చి హి డస్ అ లాట్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ కెపర్నియం కెపర్నియం హోమ్ లో నుంచి ఆయన వెళ్తు దిస్ బికమ్స్ లైక్ హిస్ హోమ్ అది ఆయన ఇంటి వలే అయిపోయింది హి గోస్ టు స్టే దేర్ అక్కడే ఉండేవాడు ఆయనకి వెళ్ళడానికి దిస్ ఇస్ జెంటైల్ టెరిటరీ అది ఒక అన్నిల ఉండే పరిపాల ప్రాంతం సో హి క్రాస్ ద కాజమ్ టు గో టు జెంటైల్ టెరిటరీ ఆయన ఒక నదిని దాటేసి సముద్రాన్ని దాటేసేసి ఆయన అన్యుల వైపు వెళ్ళాడు హి ఇస్ క్రాస్ ద ద గ్యాప్ టు కమ్ టు us మన దగ్గరికి రావడానికి కూడా ఒక గుంత లేదంటే ఒక అగాధం దాటి వచ్చాడు కమ్ టు జెంటైల్ టెరిటరీ ఆయన అన్యుల యొక్క పరిపాలన విభాగంలోకి వచ్చాడు హి ఇస్ కమ్ టు బి విత్ us హియర్ టునైట్ మనతో ఈ రాత్రి ఉండడానికి ఆయన వచ్చి ఉన్నాడు and he has a purpose in being there ఆయన ఇక్కడ ఉండడానికి కల ఉద్దేశం ఉన్నది ఇట్స్ ఇన్ కెపర్నియం where we see the story of the centurion కెపర్నియం హోమ్ లో మనం చూస్తున్నాం సమాజ మంత్రి అధికారి యొక్క కథ the centurion recognized who this was సమాజ మంత్రి అధికారి ఎవరో గుర్తుపట్టి and he said you just speak the word and my servant will be made well ఆ సత్యాధిపతి ఏమన్నాడు అంటే నా దాసుడు స్వస్థపడతాడు నీ ఒక్క మాట సెలవివ్వు he was a gentile ఆయన ఒక అన్యుడై ఉన్నాడు he had that kind of faith అలాంటి విధమైన విశ్వాసత కలిగి ఉన్నాడు praise the lord దేవుడికి స్తోత్రం do you see what's happening here ఇక్కడ ఏం జరుగుతుందో మీరు చూస్తున్నారా there's a great scene that is taking place here ఇక్కడ ఒక గొప్ప రంగము మనందరికి కనబడుతుంది but now it's time for him to cross the sea again to capernaum ఇప్పుడు మరల కబర్న హోమునకు ఆయన దోనేకి దాటాల్సి వచ్చింది because there's two women waiting for him endukante ayana koraku iddaru streelu akada vechi unnar one is going to need healing okarike emo sasada kavali the other one's going to need a resurrection okarike emo punruddhanam kavali now capernaum has a parallel significance capernaum ki samantaram ainatuvanti gurtimpu unnadi it points to our day as well mana dinaniki kuda adi sadrushyanga unnadi it's not just capernaum back there akada venakalana capernaum ani kaadu anchestaru prophetically it's pointing to our day pravachanaatmakanga mana dinani kuda capernaum sadrushyam matthew 11 and 23 says this matthew suvartha 13th adhyayamu 23th vachanamu ila selavistu unnadi and thou capernaum which art exalted unto heaven shall be brought down to hell for if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom it would have remained until this day but i say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee matthew suvartha 13th adhyayam 23rd vachanam kapirnahoma aakasham mattunaku echinchabadidava neevu paathalam varaku digipoyedavu neelo cheyabadina goppa adbhutamulu sodoma lo cheyabadina ella adi neetu varaku nilchi undunu విమర్శ దినమందు నీ గతి కంటే సొదోమో దేశపు వారి గతి ఓర్వ తగినదై ఉండునని మీతో చెప్పుచున్నాను నేను లుక్ వాట్ బ్రదర్ బ్రానమ్ సేస్ హియర్ ఇన్ ద మెసేజ్ ఆ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ సాలోమన్ ఇస్ హియర్ సొలోమన్ కంటే గొప్పవాడు ఇక్కడ ఉన్నాడు అనే వర్తమానంలో సదరు వినంగారు అంటారు హి సేస్ ఓ దౌ కెపర్నియం ఐ నన్ టు నాడు ఓ కెపర్నహోమా నౌ వర్డ్ ఎగ్జాల్టెడ్ ఇన్ ఇంటు హెవెన్ నీవు ఆకాశం మొట్టున కెచించబడదవా బికాజ్ యు థింక్ యు హావ్ ద బెస్ట్ సినగాగ్స్ నీకు గొప్ప శ్రేష్టమైన సమాజ మందిరాలు ఉన్నాయని నువ్వు ఆలోచిస్తున్నావు ఆల్ దోస్ 12 మినిస్టర్స్ అక్కడ మరి అక్కడ బాగా మరి పటిష్టమైన అటువంటి బోధకులు ఉన్నారని and everything and you're very religious అలాంటివన్నీ ఉన్నాయి నేను చాలా భక్తి కలిగి ఉన్నానని అనుకుంటున్నావు you're so swelled up and so pious till you're exalted into heaven నీవు ఎంత ఉబ్బి తబ్బి పోయి భక్తితో నిండుకున్నావంటే నీవు ఆకాశం మట్టుకు ఎత్తిచ్చుకున్నావు but i say unto you that you shall be cast down into hell నేను నీకు చెప్పేది ఏంటంటే నీవు పాతాలం మట్టుకు దిగిపోయేదవు where is capernaum today ఈ రోజు కెపర్నోమ ఎక్కడ ఉన్నది it's at the bottom of the sea adi samudrapu aghadamlo unnadi the dead sea adi murta samudram it's at the bottom of the dead sea adi murta samudram yokka adugu bhagamlo every city that received jesus yesu varni swikarinchina pati pattanamu they're standing today ee roju nilabadi unnai every city that he cursed aina sepinchina prati patanamu is gone today ee roju avi bhoomi meda levu sure he was more than a prophet nichayanga aina pravakta kante goppa vaadu he was god manifested in the flesh sharira dhariga vachina devudu aina and notice he goes back to the scriptures aina tirigi lekhanal degariki velthunnaru dinni gamaninchandi and he begins to show aina idi chupincha pati i wish to show in the next 15 minutes nenu marusati 15 nimishalu ide chupistha that all the ages anni kaalamulalo god has always had his people devudu ella 
ఉన్నప్పుడు తన యొక్క సొంత ప్రజలకు సూపర్నాచురల్ వర్కింగ్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ఏజెస్ ఆయన ప్రతి కాలంలో కూడా సహజాతీతమైన క్రియలు జరిగిస్తూ వస్తుంది ఎప్పుడైతే దేవుడు ఒక బహుమానాన్ని భూమి ఒకవేళ గనక ఆ తరం వారు ఆ బహుమానాన్ని అంగీకరిస్తే then they become a blessed people appudu varu deevana nundina jannu ga avtaru and if they turn it down oka vela dani trunikaristhe they become a cursed people varu shepimpa vanna jannu ga maartaru it's always that way ellappudu ilage adi unnadi look at that generation in jesus day yesu dinallo unna atharam varini chudandi god sent the greatest gift that was ever sent to that generation aa eppadu eppudu pampanatvandi ati goppa bahumanaanni devudu atharam variki pampadu and that's what he said adhe ayina anna maata there's a greater than solomon here solomon kante goppa vaadu ikkada unnadu and they turned it down ఆయనని వారు త్రోసి వేశారు and they called him a fortune teller ఆయనని ఒక మరి ఆ సోద చెప్పు వాడు అన్నారు where are they today వారు అందరూ ఎక్కడ ఉన్నారు నేడి దినానా they scattered to the four winds of the world లోకములో నాలుగు గాలుల ద్వారా వారు చెదరగొట్టబడ్డారు the temple is burned అక్కడ ఉన్న మందిరం అంతా కూడా కాల్చివేయబడింది చూడండి they turned it down చూడండి వారు దాన్ని త్రోసి వేశారు కపర్నియం కపర్నహోమ్ now that are exalted to the heavens ఆకాశం మట్టుకు ఏచించబడినవా shall be brought down ఆ దేవుడు దాన్ని కొరదోసాడు Capernaum is the city of angels. Capernaum is the devil of the Patanam. Here at the end time we see the same thing happening again. Marala, in the end time we see the same thing happening again. Marala, in the end time we see the same thing happening again. Marala, in the end time we see the same thing happening again. Marala, in the end time we see the same thing happening again. Marala, in the end time we see the same thing happening again. Marala, in the end time we see the same thing happening again. Marala, in the end time we see the same thing happening again. God is amongst his people. దేవుడు తన ప్రజల మధ్యలో ఉంటున్నాడు. The sign of the word made flesh. వాక్యం యొక్క సూచన శరీర ధరయ్యాడు. Discernment of the hearts of the people. హృదయ రహస్యాలు బయలు పరిచే కార్యం జరిగింది. Healings across the world. లోకమంతట్లో కూడా స్వస్థతలు జరుగుతున్నాయి. God crossing the sea to be amongst his people. దేవుడు తన ప్రజల మధ్యలో ఉండడానికి నది తీరాన్ని దాటి వెళ్తున్నాడు. And after all these signs and wonders. ఈ అద్భుతాలు సూచకరిన తర్వాత they still rejected him. ఇంకాను దేవుణ్ణి వారు తృణీకరిస్తున్నారు. Let's go back to our story in Capernaum now. Capernaum లో ఉన్న మన the degree tirigi veldam the bible says that there was a ruler of the synagogue akkada samaja mandirapu adhikaru kathalu unnadu here in this gentile territory akkada unna 20 anya bhubhaga prantamlo there's this great man akkada oka goppa vyakti unnadu he has authority ayiniki adhikaram unnadi he's a high priest ayina oka pradhana yachiku he's a ruler in the synagogue ayina samaja mandirapu adhikari which means he knows the scripture dani kartham entante ayina lekhananni verigina erigina vyakti he's been taught very well in the scripture ayina lekhanamulo sthapinchabadda vyakti he's a priest ayina oka yachikudu he knew the law ayiniki dharma shastram ante he understood those things aa vishayalanni kuda ayiniki telusu he was a very important man ayina chaala pramukhyamaina vyakti but he had a problem kani ayina ko samasya talettindi his daughter was dying tana kumarte savana yunadi now i want you to notice how the law cannot help him dharma shastra elaga ayiniki sahaya padaledo nenu meeku cheppalanukuntunna all those things that he stood for deni kosam aithe ayina bodukutunnado could not help his sick daughter ayina rogagrasthuralai padunna kooturiki sahayam achaledu all that doctrine ayaka bodhanta all those tradition ayaka aacharam anta had no power to heal his daughter tana kumarthanu swastha parichalaniki akkarika raaledu the law cannot help us dharma shastra manaki sahaya padnadu it can only point out our weaknesses mana balayanatalu vaipu maatrame chupedutundi we need it something better manaki merugaindi okati uttamaindi kavali we need to someone who can do a miracle oka suchakri chese vyakti kavali he needed someone to come on the scene for his daughter tana kumarthe kosa rangam meda evaro okaru kavalani edru chustunnadu the bible says that he calls her his little daughter parishuddha gram cheptundi na chinna kumarthe nani pilichadu she was just a little girl aame oka chinna balika bible says she was 12 years old parishuddha gram antundi aame 12 samvatsaralu eedu galadi we're going to talk about two daughters tonight ee raatri mana iddaru kumarthalanu chodabothunnaru we want you to see what god does for these two daughters devudu iddaru kumarthaliki em chesadu chustam notice the relationship here ikkada unna sambandhanu meer choodali this man jairus ee yayiru ani twenty vyakti he is a father ayina oka tandri and he has a daughter ayina oka kumarthu unnadi and his daughter is sick ayina oka kumarthe rogagrasralai undi and as a father tandri ga he knew he needed to get to jesus yesu degariki teeskellali aamena ani aniki telusu he wasn't looking at his priesthood ayina konna twenty yajakatvam aa yokka pani chodaledu he knew that they were rejecting him ayina trunikaristhunnaru ani aniki telusu that system that he was standing for denu kosam aithe ayina nilabadunnado aa yokka padathi rejecting jesus yesu ni angikarinchatledu aa padathi but he knew jesus had the answer for his daughter kaani yesu christu vaari degara ayina kumarthiki samadhanam undi so he has this battle going on on the inside kanaka lopala antarangallo ayiniki madanam jarugutundi do i stay with my tradition నేను నా ఆచారాలతో ఉండాలా do i go to this prince of life లేదనంటే నేను ఆ జీవ ఆ రాజు దగ్గరికి వెళ్ళాలా do i go to jesus christ యేసుక్రీస్తు దగ్గరికి వెళ్ళాలా where the word is ఎక్కడ వాక్యం ఉందో where there can be healing ఎక్కడైతే స్వస్థత ఉందో where there can be restoration ఎక్కడైతే పునరుద్ధరణ ఉందో where there is redemption ఎక్కడైతే విమోచనం ఉందో do we stay with our traditions లేదనంటే ఆచారాలు పట్టుకుంటాం or do we go where jesus christ is యేసుక్రీస్తుతో నేను వెళ్ళాలా 
You see, he had a decision to make. But his daughter was getting very sick. And we can see the heart of this father. He was concerned about his daughter. So he goes to find Jesus. He invites Jesus to come to his house. And you know, Jesus is a very kind, gentle person. If you invite him, he will come. He doesn't care if it's at a synagogue. He doesn't care if it's the ruler of the synagogue's house. He doesn't care if it's a sinner's home. If you invite him, he will come. Jesus Christ is always willing to come. If you invite him, he will come. Jairus must have been very happy. He's excited. Oh, the healer is coming to my home. It's going to be okay. It's going to work out. My daughter will be made whole. He must have been very happy. But we see that something is changing in this scene. God is going to test this man. God is going to prove something to this man. Because he's also a father. He also has children. So he understands what Jairus must feel like. But he wants to prove something to Jairus. He's going to unfold himself. He's going to unveil who he is. Hallelujah. So these crowds start to build. Just like outside here in the city. You get all the people moving around. And they see Jesus walking down the street. Okay, there goes that man. We've heard about him. Let's go follow him. Let's see what he's doing. And they're curious. They want to see what's happening. Why is Jairus with him? Where are they going? So they start to gather around him. But this is bad for Jairus. Because his daughter is very sick. She's going to die. He needs to come quickly. But these crowds are slowing him down. There starts to become a hindrance. There starts to become an obstacle for Jesus Christ. And you can imagine how Jairus must have felt. Hey, my daughter's dying. I need you to come now. I need you to fulfill the promise now. I need healing now. Have you ever felt that way? <coughs> Have you ever felt that way? I need that promise fulfilled now. But the crowds are building. And Jesus is being delayed. He's being held back. Oh my, you can imagine what Jairus must have felt. Why is this happening to me? Why, isn't, why can't we go quickly? Why are these people building around Jesus? Why am I being hindered making it hard for them to go quickly so we can see how the situation is starting to work against Jairus and remember Jairus now he's a father he has a need he needs healing for his daughter crowds are building around them and it's delaying them from going to his house. Now that would be bad already. That's already a, a bad situation for Jairus. But now it gets worse. The Bible says that there was a certain woman. Someone else is coming on the scene. It's almost like Jesus Christ allowed himself to be delayed. Because someone else needed him also. Jesus Christ wasn't worried about the 
the uh, crowd yesu christ var jana samuhanu batti ayan chitta cheyaledu he wasn't worried about being delayed ayana alasyam avutundani chitta cheyaledu he wasn't anxious about jairus's daughter yair kumathi gurinchi aandolana padaledu everything was under control anni kuda niyantralo swadhinlo unnai everything was working out for their good enta anta vari melu koraka jarugutundi sometimes we can get frustrated konni saalu manaki ayaka nirasa nisthundi why can't this happen right now endukani ipude jarakodadi i want healing right now naku ipude swasadha kavali i want this to happen right now idu ipude jari povali but everything is working together for good kaani samasthamu kuda melu korake jarugutunnamu nirugutumu jesus christ hadn't forgotten about jairus's need yesu christu var yair yokka avasaratini marchipoledu he was he was working the whole situation for his good aina paristhitantatni tana melu korake jarigistunnadu he's going to teach jairus something yair kedu nerpichalanukunnadu he's also got his mind on this other woman maroka sri meda kuda aina manasu nilipadu so the crowd slows jesus down akkada unnatundi jana samoham yesu var yokka aika prayana nilipichestunnadu for this woman is three he's going to need a crowd aamiki jana samohame undali he needs witnesses for what is about to happen yen jaragabothundane sakshulu kavali you'll see why in a moment manu enduku anedi konni dinalalo konni chustam so everything is working together for good ikkada samasthamu samakoodi mana melu korake jaruguchunnavani erugutumu have you ever been in a situation where you just feel like everything's upside down anta kuda talakirindile ayipoyindane paristhithilo meer eppudaina unnara you get frustrated entho koopam ledha nirasochi just remember guttu vetkondi god is behind every move devudu prathi daani venakala unnadu He's in control of every situation. Prathi paristhiti paina aina swadhinam kaligunnadu. He's in control of your life. Nee jeevitham meeda aina swadhinam undi. And he knows the promise he made to you. Aina nee kichina vaagdanaanni aina guttu pettukunnadu. Yes, I'll come to your home. Nenu nee intiki vastanu. I will be there. Nenu akkada untanu. We will heal your daughter. Nee kumarthini nenu sastha parustha. He made a promise to Jairus. Yaayiriki maati ichchadu aina. He's not forgotten his promise. Aina maata nee tappe vaadu kaadu. He's not forgotten his promise to you either. Nee kichina vaagdanaanni kuda marchi poye vaadu kaadu. Even though it may feel like you've waited a long long time chaala samayam ayipoyindanni ganipichu i've waited for salvation for my family na kutumba rakshana kosam inta kaalam nunchi vechu i've waited for healing from for me naaku swasthata ravalani inta kaalam nunchi vechu whatever your need is kaani ye avasaram whatever promise is given to you ye vaagdanam aithe nikku evabadindo even if it feels like you've waited a long time nee chaala japyam jarigindani anipichina don't worry daani kosam cheda padaku he will come aina tappa kostadu don't worry about the situation paristhithulu gurinchi pattichukoku god is working everything for your good devudu samasthamu melu korake jarigistha he has not forgotten you i ninnu marchi poledu and he's here tonight ee ratri ikkada unnadu aina i believe he's here tonight nen namuchuna aina ikkada unnadu he's here to fulfill his promise to you aina vaagdanaanni mara patla nerveshtha you waited a long time nee chaala kaalam nunchi vechunnaru if you've waited a long time nee chaala kaalam nunchi edru chustunaru he's here tonight ee ratri ikkada unnadu he's moving on the scene aina rangam meeda kadalaadchunaru he's crossed the ocean to be here tonight aina samudra theeranni daati ikkada vachadu we've invited him to be in the service tonight ee ratri kotalo undaniki aina aahvanichaamu he said wherever two or three are gathered in his name aina నా నామం ఎక్కడ ఇద్దరులేక ముగ్గురు కూడి ఎక్కిపిస్తారు there i am in their midst వారి మధ్యలో నేను ఉంటానన్నాడు i believe is here నేను నమ్ముచున్నాను ఆయన ఇక్కడ ఉన్నాడు he's here to meet your needs ఆయన మీ యొక్క అవసరాలను తీర్చడానికి ఇక్కడ ఉన్నాడు so we see the certain woman comes on the scene మనం చూస్తాం పలాని స్త్రీ అక్కడికి రావడం రంగంలోకి this is really going to slow things down నిజంగా పరిస్థితులన్నీ ఇంకా జాప్యం చేసే పరిస్థితి you can see jairus yairin chodachu come on let's go pada pada velna toraga why are we waiting enduku alasyam chestunna hong kong <laughs> trying to get through traffic ah manu eppudaithe vahanalu nadupukuntu road meda velthamo harnu kodtam kada trying to push the horn manu harnu kodta untam padu i've seen how you guys get through traffic around here meer ikkada pari prayanam chesina appudu nagarlo na traffic let's go velda padu move out of the way mag dar talagatti but then suddenly everything slows down anta kuda nemmalu avutadi come on ratti yetti letu let's go mundu kelda ratti and now everything stops ippudu anta aagipoyindi what's going on em jarugutundi maybe it's just me that does that Huh? maybe it just me that does that boss and nene dani karanam emo you don't get frustrated like that dani gurinchi chinta cheyakandi just me <laughs> amen amen everything has come to a standstill anta kuda akka nimmalu vaipoyaru jesus is going to be really delayed yesu christ var nijanga japyam chestunnadu because a certain woman has come ang akkadiki oka palani stree vacharu but he knows about this woman kana stree gurinchi ayaniki telusu I want you to realize something. ఇక్కడ మీరు ఒకటి గ్రహించాలని నేను ఆశిస్తున్నాను. Jesus was okay with him being delayed. అలా ఆలస్యం అవడం యేసుక్రీస్తు వారికి పర్వాలేదనే అనిపిస్తుంది. In his in his mind, ఆయన మనసులో he was right on time. ఆయన తగిన సమయంలోనే ఉన్నాడు. 
He he wasn't late. Aina alasyam kaledu. He was right on time. Aina tagina samayalone unnadu. Because he had an appointment. Endukante aina niyamaka samayanni pettukunnadu. This woman. Aa stree koraku. He's come to meet her need. Aame avasaranni theerchuvaniki aina vachi unnadu. So we see the certain woman coming. Manam chostam palani stree vachadu. She's going to touch Jesus garment. Yesu Christu vaari yokka vastra puchengana muttadane aam anukunnadu. We read that scripture where she goes to touch his garment. Aayina yokka vastra puchengana muttadaniki velle lekanam chadivamu. And she's going to stop him. Aayina ni aapalanu kundame. So that's going to bring the whole thing to a standstill. Akkada unnatuvadi paristhithi antatni nilipese tuvanti paristhithi ikkada unnadi. Jairus's faith is really going to be put to the test. Yaayiru yokka vishwasam nijanga parichaki nilichindi. He's going to be tested. Idi ఇద్దరు <laughs> access <laughs> ఆమెకి అనుమతి లేదు అక్కడ ఉండేదాని షీ వాస్ నాట్ అలౌడ్ టు బి వేర్ పీపుల్ వర్ ప్రజలు ఉన్న చోట ఆమె ఉండడానికి అవకాశం లేని స్త్రీ షీ వాస్ అన్ అవుట్ కాస్ట్ ఆమె బయట వెలివేయబడిన స్త్రీ షీ వాస్ అలోన్ ఆమె ఒంటరిగా ఉండాలి హర్ కండిషన్ మేడ్ హర్ అలోన్ తన పరిస్థితి ఆమెని ఒంటరిగా వదిలేసింది వాట్ మేడ్ హర్ దట్ వే ఎలాగు మరి అలాగు చేయడానికి కారణం ఏంటి వాట్ వాట్ పుష్డ్ హర్ అవే ఏది ఆమెను దూరంగా నెట్టేసింది వాట్ వాస్ ఇట్ దట్ టోల్డ్ హర్ దట్ షీ ఇస్ నాట్ అలౌడ్ టు బి వేర్ జీసస్ ఇస్ యేసు వారు ఉన్న చోట ఆమె ఉండకూడదు అని చెప్పేది ఏంటి What told her that she's not allowed to be where people are? Prajalu unna chota mu unda kodade ne tuvedi kattadi dani ke ame ke kadi. The law. Dharma sastra michindi. The law told her. Dharma sastra ame ke kattadi chindi. You have no access. Nee ko anumati ledu. Your condition. Nee paristhiti puts you outside of the community. Ninnu samajani ke veli dey badi unchutundi. She had a very serious need. Ame ke chala tevrame na usaramu. So she wasn't just unhealthy. ఆమె కేవలం అనారోగ్యంతో ఉండడం కాదు షి వాస్ ఇన్ జస్ట్ సిక్ ఆమె కేవలం అనారోగ్యంతో ఉండడం కాదు షి వాస్ అలోన్ ఆమె ఒంటరిగా ఉంది షి వాస్ ఇన్ అవుట్ కాస్ట్ ఆమె బయటకు వెలివేయబడింది షి వాస్ ఆల్వేస్ అలోన్ ఎల్లప్పుడూ ఆమె ఒంటరిగానే ఉన్నది సో when she comes into this crowd ఎప్పుడైతే ఆమె జనసమూహంలోకి చొరబడింది there's a law there అక్కడ ధర్మ శాస్త్రం ఉంది that forbids her from being there ఆమె అక్కడ ఉండడానికి ధర్మ శాస్త్రం now watch how jesus christ works yesu christ var pan jesi vidhanam chudandi because over here now we have jairus ikkada manaki ya Who is Jairus? Jairus, everyone. He's the ruler of the law. I know Dharma Shastra mulo. He is the adhikari. He's the ruler of the synagogue. I know Samaja Mandira po adhikari. He's the one that enforces the law. I know Dharma Shastra ni bodhi nchi leda thani niyamin chawa. He's the one that would enforce the law on her. Dharma Shastra ni ame me da chopin chay vekti thodu. So now we have this woman come on the scene. Ye kadi Sri Ranga me da kacharu. She's going to come face to face with that law. Ap a Dharma Shastra ni mukha mukha yadru. That law that would forbid her to come to Jesus. Christ. Yesu Christ degariki ravadanni nishedinchinattu that law would hold her in bondage. Aayaka dharma shastram aamene bandiga pattindi. That law that would hold her in her condition. Aame paristhithilone dharma shastram bandinchuchindi. But she had a need. Kaani aamaku avasaram undi. And the only one that could help her. Aamike saayam cheyabadagalige ekekaina. Was there. Akkade unnadu. His name was Jesus.
Jesus Christ. She had heard about him. And she didn't wasn't afraid about the law. She had done everything she can do. She had suffered a long time. But today she needed Jesus Christ. And she was not looking at that law anymore. The law could not help her. All the law could do for her was isolate her. Was push her away. Make her feel bad. Isolate her. Make her feel unaccepted. You're not one of us. You're, you're dirty. You're unclean. Stay away from us. Her condition kept her away from God. That's all the law could do. And Jairus was the representative of the law. But look at what God was doing. He was standing there with the law. Jesus Christ was not afraid of the law. Because he was God. He, he said, I am God. And I am the, I'm the healer of all your diseases. You think he was afraid of the law? No, he was more powerful than the law. He had come to be the Savior. He has come to be the Lamb of God. He has come to be the healer. And he's standing there right next to the law. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. What a scene. The whole place had come to a standstill. Jairus is watching. Who's this woman? Who's slowing down Jesus? What's happening here? The law. And we can imagine the woman. When she approached that crowd, she knew she wasn't supposed to be there. She was well taught. They made sure she knew. She was not welcome. But she needed Jesus. For as long as this little girl of Jairus had been alive, this woman had suffered with this condition. It wasn't just a short time that she suffered. This was a long time. And if that wasn't bad enough, she was condemned. She was made unclean for 12 long years. Let's go to the law. We want to see what Jairus represents. Leviticus 15 and 25. It reads like this. If a woman have an issue of her blood many days out of the time of her separation, for if it run beyond the time of her separation, all the days of the issue of her uncleanness shall be as the days of her separation. She shall be unclean. That is what the law thought of this woman. When the law looked at the woman, it did not have compassion. There was not mercy. It was judgment. You shall be unclean. That's all the law could do. Then, if that wasn't bad enough, it goes on. Just to make sure that the full weight of the law, that the full um, 
strength of the law can be felt dharma shastram yokka adhikaram anta ila ganipinchindi it goes on adala munduku sagutadi and it says every bed whereon she lieth all the days of her issue shall be unto her as a bed of her separation and whatever she sits on shall be unclean as the uncleanness of her separation ame sravadinamulanniyu ame pandukoni prati mansamu ame kadagana unnappati mansam vale undu undavalenu ఆమె దేని మీద కూర్చుండును అది ఆమె కడగా ఉన్నప్పటికీ అపవిత్రత వలె అపవిత్రమగును వాచ్ దిస్ నెక్స్ట్ వర్స్ తర్వాత వచ్చిన గమనించండి ఇట్ గెట్స్ వర్స్ అది ఇంకా చాలా చాలా మరి దారుణంగా మారుతుంది ది స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ఆఫ్ ది లా ధర్మ శాస్త్రంకు ఉన్న బలం ది లా ఎట్ ఇట్స్ బెస్ట్ ధర్మ శాస్త్రము దాని కలిగి ఉన్నత బలం కలిగి ఉంది అండ్ హూ సో ఎవర్ టచెస్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ షాల్ బి అన్క్లీన్ వాటిని ముట్టు ప్రతివాడు అపవిత్రుడు and shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening vaadu tana battalu utukukoni neelato snanam chesi sayankalam varaku apavitrudai unnadu this is the law idi dharma shastram jairus represented that law ya yeru aa dharma shastraniki sadrushti and he would have to enforce this law aina ee dharma shastrani akra yetti maatladali so let's look at her condition aame paristhitini ipudu chudandi she was suffering a long time aame chaala kaalam nunchi baadalo this was a painful condition idi chaala chaala nopikaramaina paristhiti it was a weakening physical condition aame konnatundi bhautika sthitini adi dina dinamu cheenipa chestundi she tried to find help aame sahayam kosam ardisthundi she tried to bring an end to that condition aa paristhiti ki aame mugimpu geetam paadalanukundi she went to every doctor she could find aame vella galiginatundi prathi vaidyuni sampadinchi she tried to find healing aame swasthathanu kadukundi she spent all of her money on doctors aame vaidyulu meeda tan degara unna dhanam She spent everything she had. I am a colleague who has done double the contribution to find healing for her condition. That is, for the sake of the society, the government. But nobody could help her. 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 So now she was poor. Ippudu aame pedaralu. And remember now Jairus knows the law. Yaayiriki dharma sasun delsu kutunchkondi. He was concerned now. Ippudu aina chinta jesuna. Because If she touches Jesus Okavela ami Yesu ni muttukunte What does the law say Dharma shastram em antundi If she touches Jesus Yesu ni aame taagite He will be unclean Aina apavitrudu We got a real problem Ikkada chaala nijamaina samasya edrochindi Do you see what I mean by unwrapping the story Nenu ee kadha ni mari mari vippi cheppadam valla meeku ippudu artham avuthunda chodagalutunnara It's not that the woman just touched Jesus Aa stree edo aina muttukondani kaadi idi She was not allowed to touch him Aame muttukodaniki arhata lena ame And if she touches him Oka vela aina ame taagite Then he is unclean Aina apavithrulu ayipothadu And to be sure of that Nichayanga the law is right there Dharma shastram aa pakkane undi And he will make sure that the law is enforced Dharma shastram neravere tattu chusukune vyakti baadi But if he enforces the law Oka vela dharma shastrani ganaka akkada neravere Then he can't go to his house Aina thana intiki raadaniki veelu undadu So we have a real problem Ikkada nijamaina samasya thalettindi ippudu Not only have they been slowed down Not only have they been slowed down పట్టం కాదు గాని దే కమ్ టు అ కంప్లీట్ స్టాప్ వారు పూర్తిగా నిలిచిపోయి స్థలం వచ్చింది అండ్ నౌ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ గోయింగ్ టు బి అలౌడ్ టు గో టు హిస్ హౌస్ ఇప్పుడు తన ఇంటికి కూడా రావడానికి అనుమతించబడేసేయా మ్యాన్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద లా హా ఇది ధర్మ శాస్త్రం కదా ద లా ఎట్ ఇట్స్ బెస్ట్ ధర్మ శాస్త్రము దానికి ఉన్నంత బలం దానికి ఉంది ఇట్ cuts us off from god adi devun nunchi manu tolagistundi it hinders adi manalu ataka parustundi it it makes us isolated adi manalu veruga unchestundi and it cannot help you adi manaki sahayaniki raadu i'm so glad jesus christ was there yesu christ var akkada unnaru nenu santoshisthunnanu do you see what a problem we have manaka elanti samasya kaligunnaru chustunnara but it wasn't a problem for jesus kani yesu var ga samasya gaadu but it could be a problem for jairus kani ya yeru kadi samasya ga ayyavu because he represents that law endukante dharma shastraniki pratinidhi aina praise the lord devudiki stotram and to be sure nichayanga cheskodaniki there's lots of witnesses akkada anega vadi sakshulu kuda unnaru so it's not like jairus could lie ya yeru abaddam adde sayse abhyaddam adde sayadan ledu i didn't see that nen dan asal chodaledu it's okay we'll just go to my house real quick parva ledu tvaraga mari intiki velipodam vachey anaku no there was witnesses akkada chuttu sakshulu unnaru he couldn't he couldn't change his mind about the law dharma shastram patla aina manasu maachukoledu they would see that var chusaru yanta so he's also stuck aina kuda irukunu patadu he's also in a bad situation aina kuda chaala chedda paristhithilo unnadu But remember he's a father kani gutte vetukondi aina oka tandri and he has a real daughter at home nesamaina tana koothu intlo undi hallelujah hallelujah her situation was really bad ame parisithi nijanga chaala baadalu undi 
she was not just unclean i'm kevalam apithral maatrame kaadu she had to be separated from everyone andar nunchi vere yam batka samadhi normally that would be for a short period of time normally that's a short period of time ah sadharananga adi chaala chinna samayame koddi kaalame but she was separated from her community kaani aame samajam nunchi veliveyabadi she was separated from her family aame kutumbam nunchi veliveyabadindi from her loved ones tana priyal nunchi veliveyabadi from her husband tana bhartha nunchi from her children tana pedal nunchi for 12 years 12 samvatsaralu paatu veliga undi can you imagine meer em cheyaluthunnara the law coming in here dharma shastram ikkada vachi taking your mom mee okka thallini theesukuni and putting her in a prison aame ni oka jarasallo vesi for 12 years 12 samvatsarala jail lone petti and think about this deeni gurinchi aalochichandi she didn't do anything aame emi cheyaledu nisaharalu she cannot help what is happening aame em jarugutundo daniki emi cheyaledu it's not something she's done aame edo chesindi ani kaadidi but her condition aame paristhiti puts her in that situation aa paristhitini aame ne andloki nettindi she didn't mean to be sick aame rogantho undalani aasaledu you know we came into this world మనం ఈ లోకంలోకి వచ్చాము we didn't mean to be born in sin మనం పాపంలో పుట్టాలని ఆశతో పుట్టలేదు we don't want to be evil మనం దుష్టులుగా ఉండాలని we don't want to lie మనం అబద్ధవాదాలను పుట్టలేదు we don't want to do bad things మనం చెడ్డ కార్యం చేయడం పుట్టలేదు but because of how we were born మనం పుట్టిందే అలా పుట్టాము there's a problem సమస్య ఉంది and we need to be changed మనం మార్పు చెందాలి but the law holds us down కానీ ధర్మ శాస్త్రం మనల్ని పట్టించింది the law isolated us ధర్మ శాస్త్రం మనల్ని వేరు చేసింది we could not come to jesus యేసు దగ్గరికి మనం రాకుండా చేసింది until he did something ఆయన ఏదైనా చేసే వరకు amen 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 so she's isolated from her family కనుక కుటుంబం నుంచి వెలువేయబడింది she's not allowed to talk to them వారితో మాట్లాడే అర్హత లేదు she has to stay away from her her friends తన స్నేహితుల నుంచి దూరంగా ఉండాలి ఆమె she has to stay alone ఆమె ఒంటరిగా ఉండాలి even if she touched a chair ఒకవేళ ఆమె కుర్చీ ముట్టుకుంటే that chair had to be taken away కుర్చీ కూడా అక్కడి నుంచి తొలగించాలి can you imagine మీరు ఊహించగలుగుతున్నారా everything you touch ఆమె ముట్టుకున్న ప్రతిది everyone you you touch నువ్వు ముట్టుకునే ప్రతిది they take it away అదంతా దూరం పెట్టేయాలి isolate you అదంతా కూడా నిన్ను push you away నిన్ను దూరంగా నెట్టేయాలి that's what the law does ధర్మ శాస్త్రం మనకి చేసింది అదే You know and sometimes we can be alone. కొన్ని సార్లు మనం కూడా ఒంటరిగా ఉండి our shame. మన యొక్క అవమానం can push us to a place. మనల్ని ఎలాంటి స్థలానికి నెట్టేస్తదంటే because the law highlights our shame. ఎందుకంటే ధర్మ శాస్త్రం మన నిందని అది పెద్దగా చేసి పెడుతుంది. The law will say you made a mistake. ధర్మ శాస్త్రం నీకు ఏం చూపిస్తదంటే ఇదిగో ఆ తప్పు చేసావు నువ్వు. You're not worthy. నీవు యోగ్యుడు కావు. Look what you did. నువ్వు చేసింది ఇదిగో ఇది. Even if you were sorry. నీవు దాని కోసం చింతపడ్డ. That law will make you feel guilty. ధర్మ శాస్త్రం నిన్ను నిందుతుడని అంటది. And it will hang over your your life. నీ జీవితం మీద వేలాడు ఉంటది. And you don't act the same like you used to. నీవు ఎలా ప్రవర్తిస్తావ అలా ప్రవర్తించవు. You ever seen someone come to church? ఎవరైనా సంఘానికి రావడం నువ్వు చూస్తే. They're just not the same. వారు అలాగే ఉండరువారు. Something happened. ఏదో జరుగుతది. Maybe they made a mistake. బోస వారు Maybe they were feeling guilty. వారికి నింద భావం ఉంది. And they don't know what to do. ఏం చేయాలో వారు తెలియదు. Because they're ashamed. ఎందుకంటే వారు నింద the law would push them away dharma shastram vanni nindalo tolaginchi doranga pettindi but there is grace kaani krupa unnadi there is grace krupa unnadi and grace doesn't look at what you did krupa nu em chesavu dan chodu it looks at what jesus christ did yesu vaaru em chesadu dani chostadu and grace wants to bring you back krupa ninnu venaki desadi grace wants to bring you back into fellowship krupa tirigi ninnu saavasanaki desadi amen amen now amen We can also treat people like this. Presently ilage manam kuda varitho vyavarinchochu. We can think that we are so special. Nenu prachekamaina vanna nenu bhavisthu manam that we can judge. Manam teerpulu theerchochu anukuntam. That we can criticize. Manam vimarsinchochu anukuntam. That we can point out somebody's mistake. Yavaro okaru tappu nettu chupe prayatnam chestam. Look what he did. Aayina em chesadu chudu. That's what the law does. Dharma shastram chesedi idi. And when you do that, meer epudaithe chestaro. You have isolated that person. Aa vyaktini neevu velivestunna. That's what the devil does. Satanu chesedi idi. He'll come and say, "Look what you did." Digo, nu chesindi idi chudu. What he's trying to do is isolate you. Kaani vaadu em chestarante ninnu ver cheyadam chustaru. You shouldn't go to church. Nu sanganiki elladdu. No, you're you're a mess. Neevu oka muriki. You shouldn't go to church. Nu sanganiki elakoddu. Don't go to prayer meeting. Neevu prarthana gudiki elakoddu. Just just stay away. Neevu intlone undu. It's it's not worth it. Adi yog can kaadu veldam they think that you're bad nuvu tappu vyakti venalu anukuntunnaru look what you've done nuvu idi chesa antunnaru and what is it doing vaadu em chestunnaru it's isolating dharma shastram veru chestundi that's the trick of the devil adi satanudu yokka quickti because we would never judge one another endukante manam okaru okaru teerthuchukunavaram kaadu amen amen we would never push someone 
someone away because we are also like Jesus Christ we have the love of God and we're not looking at their failures we're not looking at their faults we're not looking at the mistakes they made we're looking at the blood of Jesus Christ God made a way for us to be in fellowship God has taken care of our mistakes He knew we would make mistakes That's why He died on the cross To pay for our failures To deal with our sin He's taking care of those things So who are we to judge? Amen. It's a very dangerous thing to do. You judge someone. You isolate them. You don't realize you're pushing them away. Don't be surprised if they're not in fellowship. They got hurt. Someone needs to go redeem them. Someone needs to go find them. Bring them back into fellowship. Say it's okay. Jesus Christ has forgiven you. And if he can forgive you, how can I hold that against you? We're brothers and sisters. He has, he has washed us all. He died for our sins. So that we can be in fellowship. But the law will divide. The law pushes aside. You see why we have to be careful. Now let's go back to our story. She wasn't allowed to go to church. She couldn't see her husband. She was alone. She was unwanted. <coughs> she was unclean. She was unloved. She was untouchable. Have you ever felt that far away from God? Unwanted. That he cannot even touch you. You've gone so far. He cannot even see me. Oh, but he knows. He crossed the ocean for you. He came down from heaven to earth for you. He came to be with you. He came to church tonight. So that you can touch him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's a few differences between these two women. The one woman is 12 year old girl. And the other one is, a, is suffered for 12 years. The one's life will be cut short at 12 years. And the other one has suffered long time for 12 years. This young girl lived her 12 years in a relationship with her parents. This little girl was welcome. Welcome. Welcome at home. She was not cast out. She was welcome at home. She had a family. She had her friends. But she was sick. And she was dying. And that death would separate her. So we have the same outcome. Would separate her from her family. The woman was separated from her family and had suffered for 12 years. When the woman touched Jesus, she was the one that touched him. But when it comes to the little girl, Jesus is the one that touched her. 
All these examples are here. To show that he does either way. He will either touch you. But if you cannot touch him. If you cannot raise your hand to him. Like that little girl. She had died. She could not touch Jesus. But he could touch her. Praise the Lord. So the woman comes on the scene. Now we know who she is. We know her history. We know what this means. The law is standing there. Jesus Christ is there. The crowd. And she is coming. She comes in. And we can imagine how she came in. She was afraid. She, she was nervous. She was trembling. She would cover her face. She didn't want anyone to recognize her. Because if they recognized her, they would take her away. And, and so she comes in. She's hiding. And so she sneaks into the crowd. Just think of all the people she's touching. Just coming through the crowd. And finally she reaches out. She must touch Jesus. But remember, this is the very thing that she's not allowed to do. You remember Esther? She was not allowed to go to the king. But she went in anyway. Because there was a need in her heart. Because she needed to do something. And she knew that she had a relationship with her king. So she goes before the king. She was not allowed to be there. But the king knew Esther. And because he knew her. Because she belonged to him. Because he understood her. Because he loved her. Because he chose her. He extended his staff of mercy. Instead of judgment. He extended mercy. And this woman. She's not allowed to touch Jesus. That's the very thing she's not allowed to do. But we find her reaching out her hand. What is she doing? In the face of the law. In the face of her shame. She is reaching out. There is a faith on the inside. That I know this man. He was sent from God. He is the healer. And he has come across the sea. And he has slowed down to be here. He has stopped. And I am going to touch him. Now is my chance. Now is my moment. I need to touch Jesus. So by faith she reaches out. And touches him. Just a touch. Twelve years. Twelve years. She suffered with that condition. And now it's just a a touch. Just a touch. According to the law, just that touch would make Jesus Christ unclean. That's the law. And they, they enforced that law. That was a real thing. That wasn't just words. That was real. But she touches Jesus and something happens. Let's see what happens. What is stronger? What is stronger? The law or grace? Think about that. What is stronger tonight? The law or grace? Because she's touched Jesus. She didn't touch Jairus. She's not touching the law. She's touching grace. Oh, there's another covenant. 
అది జబర్దన్ దట్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఇస్ రైడింగ్ యేసు క్రీస్తు వారు జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ ది లామ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ దేవుని కొర్ర పిల్లని యేసు హి ఇస్ ది న్యూ కవెనెంట్ ఆయన నూతన నిబంధన హి ఇస్ ది సేవియర్ ఆయన రక్షకుడు షి టచెస్ హిమ్ ఆమె ఆయన తాకింది ఇన్ ది ఫేస్ ఆఫ్ ది లా షి టచెస్ హిమ్ ధర్మ అక్కడ ఉండగా కృపని తాకింది హల్లెలూయా హల్లెలూయా ది లా స్టాండింగ్ దేర్ అక్కడ ధర్మ శాస్త్రం ఉంది హి ఇస్ వాచింగ్ హర్ ఆమె చూస్తుంది అండ్ హి ఇస్ గోయింగ్ వాట్స్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ ఏ జరుగుతుందో చూద్దాం అనుకుంటున్నాడు ఇట్స్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ అంత అయిపోయింది he will never be able to come to my house now na intiki ipudu raadaniki ani arudu kaadu this is so bad idi anta chadda kaaru what are you doing a yen chestunnaame but grace was standing there akada krupa nilabadi undi and she in the face of the law dharma shastram yedute reaches out a baitiki vachindi touch his grace ayin krupan taakindam oh just a touch tonight ee ratri okka taakidi just a touch ee roju okka taakidi can you reach out your hand tonight and touch him nee chethini chaapi nee vaidi taakagalava just that little mustard seed ayin antadu aava gendanta vishwasam mustard seed of faith aava gendanta vishwasam you reach out nee vu chey chaapu through all your doubts nee okka cheti dwara through all your fears nee okka bayalanni ta through that sickness a rogavanta ditta through all that pain i have no pant through all your weaknesses is una balainatla nito and you touch him neevu aine thaako just a touch kevala oka thaakidi just a little touch tonight ee ratri oka chinna thaakidi let's see what grace will do krupa em chestado ru chudu hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah She's trying to do this secretly. ఇది రహస్యంగా చేయాలని ప్రయత్నించింది. She just touches the hem. ఆమె కేవలం వస్త్ర చెంగు ముట్టింది. She's trying to not draw attention. ఆమె ఐ శ్రద్ధ వహించకూడదు ఇంట్లో. From the law. ఆ ధర్మ శాస్త్రం చూడకూడదు. And all these witnesses. అక్కడ ఉన్న సాక్షులు చూడకూడదు. So she just touches the hem of his garment. కేవలం ఆయన వస్త్ర చెంగు ముట్టుకుంది. The Bible says. పరిశుద్ధ గ్రంథం అంటుంది. As she touched him. ఆయన అలా తగ్గనే. Right away. వెంటనే. Straight away. Ventane the fountain of her blood was dried up Ame rakta dara kattudi ayenu and she felt in her body Ame shariramulo aa baada that she was healed of the plague Nivarana aina dani grainso konnadi Hallelujah 12 years she suffered Anni nellu baada padindame and now in a moment ippudu oka kshanalo we see the strength of grace manam krupa yokka balanni chustunama grace is power కృప అంటే శక్తి the blood of jesus christ is power tonight యేసు క్రీస్తు వారి యొక్క రక్తం శక్తి రాతి there's power in the name of jesus tonight యేసు క్రీస్తు నామములో శక్తి దాగి ఉన్నది it's stronger than your condition ది ఆమ పరిస్థితి కన్నా బలం ఉంది all you have to do is touch అది కేవలం ఒక తాకి touch him with your faith tonight ఈ రాత్రి నీ విశ్వాసంతో తాకు and right away వెంటనే straight away వెంటనే నేరుగా the strength of grace ఆ కృప యొక్క బలము grace is fighting against the law అక్కడ ధర్మ శాస్త్రంతో కృప గొడవ పెట్టుకుని grace is wrestling with the law ధర్మ శాస్త్రంతో కృప పెనుగులు both of them standing there అక్కడ నిలబడి ఉన్నాయి but right away kani instantly akkada ventane ame swasthata pondindi hey man what a scene enti manam chusedi what happened in that moment akshanalo em jarigindi because when she touched him eppudaithe ame en takaru her touch thaame yokka touch should have made jesus unclean yesu christ varu na pavithram cheyali vastavani but instead kan thaniki badulu she was made clean haave pavithralu idi what does that mean that ikka artham enti jairus is looking yaayir chustane unnadu what does this mean enti din artham where is the strength of the law dharma shastram baave what's happening em jarugutu asala the law has been made nothing ధర్మ శాస్త్రం సున్న అయిపోయింది వాట్స్ హ్యాపెనింగ్ హియర్ ఇక్కడ ఏం జరుగుతుంది అసలు దేర్ సమ్ వన్ ఆన్ ద సీన్ ఎవరు ఒక రగ మీద ఉన్నాడు ఇన్ ద ఫేస్ ఆఫ్ ద లా ధర్మ శాస్త్రం ఎదుట దట్ కెన్ రివర్స్ ద లా ధర్మ శాస్త్రాన్ని తిరిగి నెరవేర్చగా వాట్ షుడ్ హావ్ మేడ్ జీసస్ అన్ క్లీన్ యేసుక్రీస్తు వారు ఓ షీ కుడ్ నాట్ మేక్ జీసస్ అన్ క్లీన్ యేసుక్రీస్తుని ఆమె అపవిత్రాలుగా అపత్రణ చేయలేదు యువర్ సిన్ నీ పాపం యువర్ షేమ్ నీ యొక్క నింద యువర్ కిల్స్ నీ యొక్క నింద కెన్ నాట్ అఫెక్ట్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ యేసుక్రీస్తుకి ఎట్టి బేదం కలగజేయదు don't be afraid tonight మీరు భయపడవద్ది రాత్రి all your wrong doing మీరు చేసిన తప్పులు all your mistakes మీ యొక్క అపరాధాలు it cannot affect him యేసుకి ఏ ఇబ్బంది కలిగించదు he's stronger than those things ఆయన అన్నిటికల బలవంతుడు he will reverse those things ఆయన అన్ని he will reverse those things ఆయన వాటన్నిటి తిరగరాయగలడు where you felt shame 
where you felt shame when you were guilty he reverses that he has reversed your condition but just touching him touching him with faith the law has been reversed oh in this gentile area where the law was the ruler of the synagogue with a need for his daughter there was another man on the scene and just a touch on his garment reverse that law in this gentile area hallelujah look at what is happening the mosaic law was being reversed that law of Moses was reversed grace was on the scene she was healed instantly she was purified she was made whole her strength came back she was restored in front of all those witnesses when they should have cast her out they should have cast out Jesus now she was welcome she was redeemed she was restored to her family she was restored into fellowship because of grace grace restored her hallelujah grace can do the same for you tonight hallelujah Brother Branham says that it's grace that keeps the family together. Not the law. Not judgment. Not criticism. But it's grace that keeps us together. It's grace that keeps our families together. It's grace that keeps our churches together. It's grace that keeps, grace that keeps us in fellowship with God. Not because of anything we but because of his strength because of his love because he chose you it's grace that keeps us grace has restored us in the face of the law he has restored us why because he met the requirement of the law he paid your price you are innocent tonight if you can touch him by faith tonight he will make you clean Amen. It is finished. You don't have to worry anymore. You can be free tonight. You can go wherever you want to go after this day this woman she could now walk down the streets she could live in heavenly places her joy was restored her, her joy was restored she was happy again she was empowered again she was placed back in her family that grace positioned her in the family that grace took her home that grace allowed her to walk in her community it's that grace that put her back in fellowship it was grace that allowed her to sit at her table again. It was grace that let her eat that food again from her house. She did not have to walk in shame anymore. She did not have to cower anymore. Oh, grace had set her free. Now she had a right to sit at the house. Now she had a right to be with her family. And you you have a right tonight also. You have a right to be healed. You have a right to be saved. You have a right to be restored. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at what grace has done for us tonight. It's allowed us to sit together like this.
ఇలాంటి విధం where we can sit together like this ila gumar vandra kurchuni and we can talk about the blessings of god devudi aashirwadalu maatla we can worship i am aradhinch garu we don't have to be afraid manu yanta maatra we can bless god devudi sudhinchu we can praise him i am sudhinchu we can thank god devudi kurchaka because he has freed us i am only swatha and we're in fellowship with one another vakarto vakar sahavasa look at what grace did for you devudi grace krupa nee kuda kem chesi i hope you're impressed with grace tonight ee ratri meeru sudhisthunnara nanni namuthunna we are living by the very grace of god devudi yokka santa krupa dara patukutunna he's taken our fears aina mana bhayam thodu taken our shame aina yokka ninda daligichadu oh thank god for his grace tonight aina krupa ni vatti ratri devudiki vadalalu thank god for what he did for us mana kosam em chesadu daanni vatti aina vandana hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah 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 what did she touch what did she touch i mean we talking the god bless you brother amen praise the lord thank you brother tim appreciate you i mean talking the what did she touch i mean talking the the hem of his garment i need a vastra chingun taki what does that mean then kartham ent asala you have to forgive me nanu machipovali meeru that's how my mind works nai ka manasu ilage pan chestadu i want to know what she touched ami em takindo nenu chodali what does that mean adani kartham enti she touched the hem of his garment aina ko vastra chengu takindi and she was healed aame swasatha pondindi what does this mean dani kartham enti because i want to touch the hem of his garment also nenu kuda aina vastra chengu takala kuttunan look at what this means dini kartham ento chodali if we go to the book of numbers manam sankhya kandani ganaka velagali 15 i'll just explain it to you 15 avadhyayaniki manam velagalite The Israelites in that time ah samayalo unna 20 israelilu they were told to put tassels on the hems of the priest garments varu mari pradhana yajakuduku yokka angi ki mari vastrapu chengunu vaadu pettali kuchulu pettalu ani cheppabadindi and each tassel was made a certain way prathi kuchellu kuda oka vidhanga amarchali it must be blue adantha kuda neeli rangu it must have a blue thread in it adan lopala neeli rangu dharam undali that blue thread that run, run, runs through that tassel ayaka mari dani gunda nadiche aa neeli dharam this is one little thread adi oka dharam ayy unnadi of blue adantha kuda neeli rangu dharam oh, look what god's doing devudu em chestunna chodandi it's a symbol adi oka madri it shows the de- vinity of god devuni yokka daivatvanni chupedtu that he is everlasting aina nithudu he is the creator aina srushtikarta he is the maker of heavens and earth aina bhoomi aakashan suchi he is the word of god aina devudu vakyam he was made flesh aina sharira dharaya is the divinity of god devuni yokka daivatvanni and his majesty aina yokka adhikaram the creator aina yokka that's what that shows Ha? that's what that shows adhe chupedtu unnadi that he is god aina devudu of heavens and earth bhoomi aakashaniki kaide devudu of all the animals aika jantulandariki he's god of his creation aina srushtiki devudai unnadi just that line aika dharam running through that tassel aika dharamu a chengu konda nadustadi the tassels meant something aika ada a chengu daniki oka artham unnadi they were put on the priest's garment adi yajakudi pai vasrani kartaru to remind the people prajalaka adi gurtu cheyali of the promises of god devudu yokka vaagdanalu gurtuga so when they saw that priest eppudaithe yajakudni chustaro they would be reminded variki gnyapaganiki raavali idi by his stripes i'm healed aina pondina gaayamulu chetha nenu swastha paddam he is the god that heals me of all diseases nannu swastha porchuvadi ani yehova aayane that if we believe on the lord jesus christ we shall be saved manu prabhu ne yesu christu adu vishwasam unte rakshinchabadtaru that he fights our battles aine mana yuddhamulu jarigichuvadu that we shall receive the gift of the holy ghost parishuddhaatma yokka varamunu manam pondukovali we look at the priest garments aa manu eppudaithe aa yajakudu vastram chusina we see those tassels hanging around his garment aa chuttu aa anchulu angi anchulu the hem of his garment aine yokka angi anchulu it was a reminder adi oka gnyapakarthamai of the commandments of god devuni yokka aagyala sadrushya roopam ga i chose you nen ninnu ennukunnanu when you saw the commandments of god eppudaithe devuni yokka aagyala chustavo when you looked to that priest eppudaithe yajakudu chustavo that man that would make intercession for you nee koraku vigyapana chese aa vyakti that was a high priest of your confession nee yokka yajak neeku pradhana yajakudu aina that would go aina. into the holy place nee oppukoliki pradhana yajakudu where the mercy seat was levadu akkada karuna petamulu chodiki vatta around him hang the promise is of god i should to devuni vaagdhanalu when you looked at those things manava karyalu chusinappudu it reminded you of his love to you aina prema mana patla em ayyunu that he will make a way for you nee koraku aina oka vaargam therichadu that those that he have called aina pilichadu annaniki those he have chosen aina 
ఎన్నుకున్నాడు he has predestinated ఆయన ముందు ఏర్పాటు చేశాడు he has justified ఆయన నిన్ను నీతిగా he has sanctified ఆయన నిన్ను సుదిగించాడు he will glorify ఆయన నిన్ను మహిమపరిచాడు we start to see the promises of god దేవుని యొక్క వాగ్దానాలను చూచినట్టు start to read his word ఆయన వాక్యం చదునట్టు it reminds us అది మన జ్ఞాపకాన్ని కోసం of his commitment to us మనకి ఆయన ఇచ్చిన వాగ్దానం of his covenant with us ఆయన యొక్క నిబంధనలు not anything we did మనం ఏదో చేసాము కానీ he has done for us ఆయన ఆయన మన కోసం ఏం చేశాడు అనేది what a garment ఎలాంటి విధమైన వస్త్రం అది these tassels were hanging around them chuttu angi anchulu veladuchu unnai it was to remind them of god's holiness devuni parishuddhatani gyapakam cheyadaniki avi and about their holiness vaari parishuddhatani that they needed god devudu variki avasaramu ani it was a reminder adi anta kuda oka gyapaka that were the hem of his garment ayaka vastrapu chengu anabade etuvanti mata is also translated adi ila kuda tarjuma cheyabadindi as the word wings అది వింగ్స్ సర్ వింగ్స్ లైక్ ఎన్ ఈగల్ అది రెక్కల లాగా తర్జుమ చేయబడింది ద వర్డ్ ఫర్ హెమ్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ గార్మెంట్ ఆయన వస్త్రపు చెంగు అనే మాటకి అర్థం ఇన్ ది ఒరిజినల్ హీబ్రూ అది హెబ్రూ పత్ర హెబ్రీలో రాసినప్పుడు ఇస్ ఆల్సో వింగ్స్ అది రెక్కలకి సాదృశ్యంగా ఉంది రిమెంబర్ వాట్ డేవిడ్ సెడ్ దావీద్ ఏమన్నాడు గుర్తుందా ద వేర్ ఇన్ ద షాడో ఆఫ్ హిస్ వింగ్స్ ఆయన రెక్కల చాటున మనం నివసించువారం వాట్ ఇస్ వేర్ ఇస్ హిస్ వింగ్స్ ఆయన రెక్కలు ఎక్కడ ఉన్నాయి వేర్ ఆర్ ద వింగ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద చెరుబమ్ ఆ కెరుబుల్ రెక్కలు ఎక్కడ ఉన్నాయి దే వర్ టు గో ఓవర్ ద మర్సీ See. Avi karuna petam meda kappabadu. They they touched. Avi rendu kuda taaki unnai. At the top here. Aa paina rendu kuda taaki unnai. And underneath that. Dani krinda. The the light would shine on those wings. Aa yokka rekkala meda velugu padi. And it would make a shadow. Akkada oka needa yerpadu. Under the shadow of his wings. Aina rekkala needalo. What is under the wings? Rekkala needalo emundi. It's the mercy see. Akkada karuna petam undi. It's where mercy is. Akkada kanikara undi. It's where the word is. Vaakyamu unnadi. And that's where we are. And the manamo we hides us manalli kapputunnadu god hides us devudu manalli kapputunnadu under the shadow of his wing aina rekkal chaatunu kapputunnadu that's what she touched adhe aame taakindi she touched more than just the hem of his garment aame kevalamu aa yokka vastrapu chengu kanna minchi taakindi under the wings of the almighty sarva shakti mantrugu rekkal chaatu kavachindi oh, she was hidden in christ ఆమె క్రీస్తులో దాచబడింది when trouble comes ఎప్పుడైతే ఆపత్కాలం వస్తుందో he will hide us in his pavilion ఆయన కవర్లో మనల్ని దాస్తాడు ఆయన place of safety for us మనకి రక్షణ ఆశ్రయం ఆయనే we can run to him ఆయన దగ్గరికి పరిగెత్తుతాం he is our place of refuge అది మనకి ఆశ్రయ దుర్గం he is our fortress ఆయనే మన కోట he is a, a, a place of safety for us ఆయన మనకి రక్షణ ఆశ్రయం so run under him ఆయన కిందకి పరిగెడతాం his wings would bring healing ఆయన యొక్క రెక్కలకి ఆరోగ్యం ఉన్నది Praise the Lord. Devuniki stotram. There's a lot of things we could say about the wings of God. Aneka karyalu devun rakkal meda maatladochu. And we live in an eagle age. Manamu pakshiraj kaalana bodukutunna. Amen. Amen. In an eagle day. Pakshiraj yokka dinam under the wings of the almighty. Sarva shakti mantrugu rakkal chaatu. Wings that are lifting us higher. Manalni unna thabaina salamulu nadu ketikelle rakkal. into heavenly places paraloka salanoka mosukunu poi rakkalu. Where are we living today? Aa roju manu ekkada ee roju manu ekkada jeevisthunnam. another place in in malachi 4 and 2 malachi grandamu 4th adhyayam 2nd vachanallo there's a prophecy about the coming of the lord prabhu raakada gunchi oka pravachanam akkada unnadi he says those that will revere my name evaraithe na naamamandu namakam unchutaro that will respect my name na naamamu evaraithe gauravistharo that will be sincere about my name na naamamu nimittam evaraithe yatharthanga untaro he says the son of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings aithe na naamamandu bhay bhaktulu gala varu oka meeku neethi suryudu odinchunu healing in his wing athani rekkala aarogyam kalaga cheyinu there's healing in those wings tonight aa rekkala kinda aarogyam unnadi amen amen healing for our soul mana pranapu rakshana healing for our sickness mana rogala swasthata and that healing brings restoration aa swasthata manaki punradhikarana chestundi so when this woman touched jesus eppudaithe ee stree aina taakindo we see what she touched manu aame em taakindo chusam we are in the same place tonight ee ratri manam kuda adhe sthanamlo unnam the mercy of god is here devuni kanikaram ikkade undi we are under his wings manam ippudu aina rekkala kinda unnam amen amen and you can touch him tonight ee ratri meer aina taakagalagochu just reach out kevalam chaapandi and touch him aina taakandi when she touched him eppudaithe aama aina taakindo jesus turns yesu var tirigaru remember the laws here chodandi dharma shastram pakkana undi the witnesses are there akkada sakshulu unnaru she stops jesus yesu na aapesindi she stops almighty god sarva shakti mantrudu devunni nilupu chesi she had an effect upon him aina meeda ame prabhavam padindi her faith 
caught his attention ame viswasam ayini stambhimpa chesindi just to prove to you tonight ee ratri meeku nirupinchadaniki your faith nee viswasam can get his attention ayina shraddha nee vaipu laagutadi he turns to the woman aa stree vaipu tirigaada ayina oh my grace is looking at the woman na krupa devudi aa pastrini chustundi her savior ayina ame rakshakundi her maker ame yokka srushtikarta is looking at her ame vaipu chustunnadu what's happening em jarugutundi and he says i don't know nadu who touched me ever nanu taakina vyakti everyone's touching him andaru taagutunnaru ayina there's so many people around him aneka mandu unnaru taake jairus is probably pulling him yayuru kuda bosa pottukulu avutunnaru ayina but her touch was different kaani aame taakindi bedam galiginchindi she recognized who he was aame gurtinchindi ayina evaro she saw the power in his name ayina naamallo unna shakti aame kanugunnadi she touched him by faith viswasam dwara aame ayina taakindi it's faith that gets his attention aina sardhani laagede entante viswasam it's faith that draws god devunni laagede entante viswasam where the, he was just walking like a man aina manavul laaga nadustunadu it's faith that got his attention devudu sraddha choopindi viswasaniki it's faith that brought him out of hiding viswasamu daagi unna dan nunchi baiti dechindi people looked at him prajala aina vaipu chusi and they wondered who he was evara aina nu anukuntunnaru what's he what is he all about eena asalu but her touch kaani am taakidi unveiled who he was aina evarane sangathini tera tolagichindi and brought out who he is aina evarane sangathi vyakta padindi he is the healer aina swastha paruchu vaadu remember god said that i am god gurtu pettukondi devudu annadu nenu yehovanu Uh, who heals all your diseases ninnu swastha parchu vaadanena yehovanu neene there's only one person okka vyakte unnadu jesus christ yesu christu that can heal your disease nee rogamannu maagu cheyvadu and he was on the scene aina ranga meda vachha i believe is here tonight nenu namuchunna nee raatri aina ikkade unnadu who touched me evarnu taakina vyakti and the disciples say Shishu what do you mean sishilu annaru everyone's touching you andaru nu taagutunnaru he was looking at this woman kaani aa stree vai pani chustunnaru he turned to look at her aame vai pitaragadani chusadu who are you nee evaru who touched me evarnu taake praise the lord devuniki sthotra oh my <laughs> You can imagine this woman. Meeru enchi stri isolated all those years. Aa samasralanni veliveyabadi. And this man turns to her. Ee vyakti aame vip tirigi. Who touched me? Evarnu taakindi. Her touch that should make him unclean. Aayana aame oka taakidi aayana apavithrana ga cheyali. She's she's there. Aa makkada undi. She's been changed. Aame maari poyindi. Something happened. Edo jarigi poyindi. Oh there was a revival happening. Aame lopala oka ujjeevan nadustundi. There was a stirring happening. Aame lopala regutundi. Who touched me? Yavarnu taakina vyakti. She's looking at Jesus. Yesu vai paam chusindi. She doesn't know what to say. E manal teliyaledu. Because she knows what happened. Endukanti em jarigi daaviki telusu. There's a secret in her body. Aame shariram oka rahasyam. There's a mystery unfolding in her life. Aame jeevitham oka ra Oh, I touched the master. నేను యజమానుడి తాకాను. He saw my need. ఆ నా అవసరం చూశాడు. And he he touched me. ఆ నన్ను తాకాడు. And he healed my disease. నా రోగాన్ని బాగు చేశాడు. And now you're asking me. ఆ నన్ను అడుగుతున్నాడు. Who touched me? నన్ను ఎవరు తాకారు అని. At this time. ఈ సమయంలోకి. She had been isolated. ఆమె వెలివేబడి. She didn't have a family. ఆమె కుటుంబమే లేదు. Now she's being asked. ఇప్పుడు ఆమె కారణం. Who are you? నీవు ఎవరు అనేటువంటి మాట అడిగాడు. Who am I? నేను ఎవర్ని? what a question elanti prashna adi he's going to reveal something to her aamik edo bayil parchal anukunnadu remember jairus is standing here chodan yayir akkade unnadu he's a father aina oka tandri he has a daughter back home akkade enakal idi der koothrundi he's dying aame emo chaavu bathukullo undi here is god ikkada devudu unnadu and here's a woman akkado sthi undi he says who are you aina antunnadu nuvu evaru now she's trembling ippudu aame unukutundi this is not a trembling idi, like before adi mundu ochina twenty vachu unuku kaadi idi this is not because she's scared aame bhay padona kada kaadi idi this is because her whole life is changing aave jeevitham anta maari poyindi ippudu she doesn't know what to do with herself anymore aave anta taame chese deni what's happening to me na ke em jarugutundi i'm being restored naaku poothiga nayam ayindi i feel better naaku ippudu merugayindi i feel strength again naaku marala balam vachindi but the law is standing right there kaani dharma shastram akkade nilabadundi what's going to happen with me na ke em jarugutundi i don't understand what's happening here na ke ikkada em jarugutundi artham gavatledi trembling aame unukutundi she's trembling in reverence aame bhayantho unukutundi in worship aame aaradhantho unukutundi oh she's happy aame santoshantho unukutundi she wants to praise him aina stutistha unukutundi she wants to thank him aame krutagatha chellichala nayiki and he turns to the woman aina sri vaipu tirigi hallelujah hallelujah and he says these words aini maatladu unnadu daughter kumarte 
Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. She didn't have a family. Ame kutumbo ledu. She was pushed away. Ame doranga velave padindi. But here was her father. Ikkada tandri nela padadu ameki. He come to find her. Ame nu vetakadaniki vachadu. He come to find his lost daughter. Aina nasinchina thana kumarthini padadu ameki. He come to have fellowship with his daughter. Thana kumarthi tho saavasam cheyadu. And he turns to this woman. Aina istri dagara tirugi. Like Jairus is 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 thinking about his daughter tana kumarthi gurinchi ayire elaga anukuntunado god was thinking about his daughter devudu tana kumarthi gurinchi aalochistunadu he is showing jairus ayire ayire ki chupertunadu i know what's going on in your heart ee hrudayalo em jaruguthundo naaku telusu i know what it means to be a father naaku tandri ga undu vachedo telusu i know how you feel jairus neeku ela gundo naaku telisi ayire because this was my daughter kaani ive na kumarthi and i've come to save her nee naa meeru kaapadadani gochadu i've come to heal her నీకే నిరూపించ i know what it means to be a father tandri ga undana vante i know what it's like to have children naaku telusu yatri kodu undana vante ento i know what your prayers are for nee yokka parents your pa- prayers nee prarthanalu ento naaku telusu you are praying for your children nee piddal kosam prarthisthunna i see your heart hi nee hrudayanu chustunna i know you're praying for your child nee piddal kosam prarthisthunna naaku telusu praying for that loved one nee priyal kosam prarthisthunna naaku telusu grace is sufficient tonight ee aina krupa ee ratri nikku chaalu he knows what it means to be a parent endukante oka tandri ga తాకవచ్చు touch him tonight ee ratri ayina taakandi he understands ayina artham cheskuntadu he knows what it's all about ayiniki telisidantha he knows what it feels like to lose a child aa oka he knows what it feels like to lose a child oka petta nashtapadam enta kashtamaini someone who's been pushed away by the law yavaraithe dharma sasantho tholi vebattaru he has come kaani ayina vachadu he has come to redeem ayina vibhavachinchadu he has come to bring fellowship ayina savasam kosam vachadu he has come to restore us ayina manalli punnutrinchadaniki vachadu he will do the same for your house nee okka inti kuda ayina adhe chestadu Glory living by the grace of God. Devuni kurupa dwara jeevistu. Oh it's good to be a son or daughter of God today. Devuni kumar ru kumarthi ga ee ratri undadu. He turns to this woman. Aa sri degara kochi. And he identifies her. Aayina gurtinchadamani. In front of all those witnesses. Aa kuda sakshulu andari eduta. Front of the law. Aa dharma sasthu. She should have been unclean. Aame apavithra ravali. But he claims her. Kaani aame na aina pontu kuda. He welcomes her into his house. Aina nadu na inti ki raakumate. He welcomes her into his family. Aina thana kutumbalu ga aavaru. Just push her away. Aina నిన్ను నెట్టివేను 
you are welcome nee ga ahwanin sabadinaru he invites you nee na ahwanistunnadu aina because you are his child endukante nee aina bedavu he's made a way for you nee kosam aina margam terchadu hallelujah daughter komarte that's why i called the sermon andukane ee amsaniki nenu pettina peru two daughters iddara komartelu Because there's two daughters in this story. ఈ కథలో ఉన్న ఇద్దరు కుమార్తెలు. There's the daughter of Jairus. ఒక కుమార్తెమో యేసు వారి కూతురు. And the daughter of Jesus Christ. ఒక కూతురేమో యేసు వారి కూతురు. In my Bible. నా పరిశుద్ధ గ్రంథంలో daughter is spelled with a capital D. అక్కడ D పెద్ద అక్షరంతో పరిశుద్ధ గ్రంథంలో ఉంది. A capital D. అది ఒక పెద్ద అక్షరము D. which means important daniki artham paramukhyanga gamaninchali like jesus yesu varu is important aina pramukhyamaina vaadu her name is her her title is with a capital d aaya ame yokka peru rasina pudu d capital pettaru he is identifying her aamenu aayana gurtisthunnaru you're special neevu prachekamaindanavu you're not just anybody's daughter neevu vera evaro gomathu kaadu you're not jairus's daughter you are your kutru kaadu you're not the daughter of this world devi loka kubathe kaadu you're not the devil's daughter devi satanu kubathe kaadu you're not just anybody's daughter devi evar kutru kaadu gaani my daughter devi ra kutru vi you're the daughter of the king devi ra kutru vi you're a daughter of of, of god devi devudi kumathu you're a child of god devi devudi bedavi ratri and he says thy faith ayin antadu nee viswasam your faith kumari nee viswasam can you imagine what your faith can do tonight nee viswasam ee ratri em cheyagalto chustunna your faith nee viswasam has made you whole ninnu swastha parichanu your faith can do the same tonight nee viswasam ee ratri adhe em cheyagalto can make you whole tonight nee viswasam ninni ee ratri swastha parichanu why not turn to your heavenly father tonight ee ratri nee paraloka patanni your child aina bidaki you have a right to come to him neeku hakku unnadu ayi degara alaniki amen touch him with your faith nee viswasam unnara aina taakagalagachu Hey. On his way to heal Jairus's dying daughter. Yeah, you are a child of God. Come out and trust the Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus stops and cares for one of his own daughters. Yes, Christ. Our Agi, that is the God of the universe. Let us jump in. Jesus taking her to himself. Yes, Christ. Our that is the God of the universe. And in front of the law. Dharma Sasan. In front of all the witnesses. I cannot say that they are there. See why they needed to be there. Why they are 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 actually at the time declared her clean ame pavithralan prakatinchali in front of the law dharma shastram undaga the supreme judge akkada unna 20 nyaya nirnetha our judge mana yokka nyaya padhyadhi has declared us clean amanalli pavithruliga chesadu you are a spotless man you are matsa, spotless man matsa lekunda virtuous man prabhavam gari right of jesus christ yesu christ bharya ga You remember the picture of the cloud? Meeku aika megan chitram guttunda. The prophet turns to that picture and he says, look at that picture. Pravakta antadu aa chitram vaipu tirigi aa chitram chudandi. He says, you know who that is? Meeku telsa ayina evaro? That's your judge. Ayina evaro kaadu mee yokka nyaya. He's come to proclaim you clean. Mee nyaya adhipati meeru shuddhulani prakatinchadu. He's come to reverse the law. Ayina dharma shastrani tiragaragani chadu. It's a message of grace. Aadi krupa vartamanam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord Jesus. <laughs> This woman had no one to help her. ఈ స్త్రీకి ఎవరు లేరు సహాయం చేయడానికి. No one to make a way. ఎవరు కూడా మార్గం తెచ్చేవారు లేరు. But now she had a champion. కానీ ఇప్పుడు ఆయనకి విజేత దొరికి ఆమెకి విజేత దొరికి. Is that what a father does? తండ్రి ఏం చేస్తాడు చూసారా? A father provides. తండ్రి సరఫరా చేస్తాడు. Father takes care of his children. తండ్రి తన బిడ్డల పట్ల జాగ్రత్త వహిస్తాడు. Father puts food on the table. తండ్రి బల్ల మీద ఆహారం పెడతాడు. He gives him a home. ఆయన ఇంటిని ఇస్తాడు he gives them clothing ఆయనకి వస్త్రాలు ఇస్తాడు he makes a way for them ఆ వారి కోసం ఒక మార్గం he provides for their needs వారి అవసరాలు తీరుస్తాడు the father is like a champion to his children తండ్రి తన బిడ్డలకి ఒక విజేత children are dependent on their parents పెద్ద పిల్లలందరూ కూడా తండ్రి మీద ఆధారపడేవారు dependent on their father తండ్రి మీద వారు ఆధారపడేవారు he was making her his daughter ఆమెని తన కుమార్తెగా తీసుకుని he was saying i am your champion ఆయన అంటున్నాడు నేనే నీకు విజేత నేనే నీకు సరఫరా చేస్తాను i will look after you from this day on 
నేనే ఈ రోజు నుంచి నీకు సరఫరా చేస్తాను you have somebody who cares tonight ఈ రోజు రాత్రి నీకు కోసం చెంత చేసేవాడు ఉన్నాడు someone who wants to look after you ఈ నిన్ను చూసుకునేవాడు కాదు నాకు he wants to clothe you నీకు వస్త్రం ధరింప చేయాలి he wants to wash you నిన్ను కడగాలని he wants to put food on your table నీ పళ్ళ మీద ఆహారం పెట్టాలని he's Jehovah Jireh i never ain't a Jehovah Jireh my provider ఆయన నాకు సమకూర్చువాడు hallelujah hallelujah Oh so many amazing things Aneka adbhutamaina sangathulu God unveiling himself to Pharaoh Sananu thanu yaayuruku terathalu unveiling himself to this woman Aa stree ki thanu thanu terathalu ichukuntunnaru Don't you love it when he does that Aayana ala chestunna appudu meer premisthunnara Hallelujah Praise the Lord Then stotram They're having a revival about now Ippudu manam oka ujjeevanni kaligi unnam They're having a good time Manam manchi samayanni kaligi unnam They're around this woman Astri where have you been all these years Ee samasralu antar padi What happened to you Em jarigindi nee amma Oh and she's telling a testimony I have a sachiga marindi Oh my heavenly father Na parlokam tandri Look what grace has done for me Na krupa na kosam aagindi He has restored me Nannu ayina punnudrinchadu And this this testimony time Adi sachyam icche samayam They're excited ఆ నిన్న దే ఆర్ హ్యాపీ వారు సంతోషంగా ఉన్నారు అండ్ జేరస్ ఉన్నారు జేరస్ ఇస్ స్టాండింగ్ దేర్ యా ఇ రక్కడ నిలబడి హి ఇస్ వాచింగ్ దిస్ ఆయన ఇదంతా చూస్తున్నాడు హి ఇస్ థింకింగ్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ డాటర్ తన కూతురు గురించి ఆలోచిస్తున్నాడు హి ఇస్ వాచ్ వాట్ హి వాట్ జీసస్ విల్ డు ఫర్ వన్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ డాటర్స్ యేసుక్రీస్తు వారు తన కారు కూతురు కేం చేశాడు చూసి ఓ హౌ హిస్ ఫేస్ మస్ట్ హావ్ బీన్ స్టర్రింగ్ ఆయన యొక్క విశ్వాసం ఎలాగా కదిలుతుందో ఓ కమ్ టు మై హౌస్ లార్డ్ ఇంటికి రా ప్రభువా ఐ డోంట్ కేర్ అబౌట్ ది ట్రెడిషన్స్ ఎనిమోర్ ఆచారాల గురించి పట్టిపిలే ఓ కమ్ టు మై హౌస్ నా ఇంటికి వస్తే చాలు లెట్ మై డాటర్ టచ్ యు నా కుమార్తె నిన్ను తాక నివ్వు బికాజ్ ఐ యామ్ ఎ ఫాదర్ ఎందుకంటే నేను తండ్రిని అండ్ ఐ కెనాట్ డు వాట్ యు జస్ట్ డి for your daughter ni uni kootri kem chesavo ni na kootri cheyali i know that you care ni u cheyagaligindi i know that you love ni u premisthavan telu your own daughter ni santa kootri come and look to my daughter vachi na kootri chudu oh he's he's wondering ayi na cheri pothunnadu he he's he's looking to jesus yesu vaipu chusadu why don't we go to my house nenu inti kellapudu his his face is rising ayina yokka mukham rising ఆయన విశ్వాసం పొరుగల పడింది హిస్ గెటింగ్ ఎక్సైటెడ్ ఆయన సంతోషంతో ఉన్నాడు బికాజ్ देयर इज अ प्रॉमिस ఎందుకంటే వాగ్దానం ఉంది देयर इज होप फॉर हिज डॉटर ఆయన కూతురు కోసం నిరీక్షణ and in the meantime ఆ సమయంలో this messenger comes వర్తమానీ కూడా వచ్చాడు he comes pushing through this crowd ఆ జన సమూహంలోకి తరబడ గాడి వచ్చాడు messenger from his house ఇంటి దగ్గర నుంచి వర్తమానం తెచ్చాడు he brings bad news ఆయన చెడ్డ వార్త తెచ్చాడు and he finds jairus yairu kanugunnadu and right there in front of jesus yesu var akkad undagane and this woman aa stree undi and this family that has been reunited akadanta tirigi aikapadapana kutumbam testimony time akada saaksha samayam this this bad news comes akkada aa chedda vaartha vachindi and he says jared i have news yairu niko visadha jared i have news for you yairu niko vaartha it's not good news adu manchi vaartha kaadu your daughter is dead ne kumarthe chenipoyindi don't trouble jesus anymore yesu ni kanta maatra ibbandi pettako Well we we've, we've just stepped a, a huge step now. ఇప్పుడు మనం చాలా పెద్ద అడుగు వేసేసాం. We're not just dealing with healing now. ఇప్పుడు స్వస్థత గురించి మనం మాట్లాడట్లేదు. Now we've moved into a different realm. ఇది మరొక ప్రపంచంలోకి వెళ్ళిపోయింది. We've moved into the impossible. అది అసాధ్యమైన కోణంలోకి వెళ్ళిపోయింది. Impossible things. అది అసాధ్యమైన కార్యంలోకి వెళ్ళిపోయింది. And he he receives this message from home. ఈ వర్తమానం ఇంటి దగ్గర నుంచి రాగానే ఆయనకి Your daughter is dead. నీ కుమార్తె చనిపోయింది. She's not just sick. ఆమె అనారోగ్యం కాదు. she's passed on i'm a veli poindi it's over jairus yairu ink anta ayipoyindi it just let it go alaga ayipoyindi kudile it's not possible anymore ink ippudu asadhyamu just leave jesus alone yesu nala udilesenu you've troubled him enough ink enta maatru inta varaku nu ibbandi pettu chaadu you've you've prayed enough jairus you've prarthana chesinantha chese udile you've done all you can do jairus you em cheyagalu adantha saishakthi chesavu it's over ayipoyindi ink death seems to be so final మరణము ముగింపులాగా ఎంత కనపడతదంటే అండ్ ఇట్ కేమ్ టు జైరస్ హౌస్ యా ఇయర్ ఇంటికి అది వచ్చింది వాట్స్ గోయింగ్ టు హ్యాపెన్ ఏం జరగబోతుంది దిస్ ఇస్ సీరియస్ ఇది చాలా తీవ్రమైన విషయం డెత్ హస్ టేకెన్ అ హోల్డ్ అక్కడ మరణము చేజిక్కిచ్చుకుంది గాడ్ ఇస్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ ఇన్ ఆల్ హిస్ వేస్ దేవుడు తన మార్గం అంతట్లో పరిపూర్ణుడు బైబిల్ సేడ్ దై డాటర్ ఇస్ డెడ్ పరిశుద్ధ గ్రంథం అంటుంది నీ కుమార్తె జైరస్ యువర్ డాటర్ ఇస్ డెడ్ జైర్ నీ కుమార్తె చనిపోయింది డ్యూరింగ్ ఆల్ దిస్ కమోషన్ ఈ యొక్క మరి అలికిడ అంత ఉండగా డ్యూరింగ్ దిస్ డిలే ఈ యొక్క ఆలస్యంలో యువర్ డాటర్ హస్ డైడ్ నీ కుమార్తె చనిపోయింది డోంట్ ట్రబుల్ ద మాస్టర్ ఇక ఎంత మాత్రమును యజమానుని బోధకుని ఇబ్బంది పెట్టకు నౌ నార్మల్లీ అసాధారణంగా డెత్ విత్ మీన్ ది ఎండ్ 
మరణమే ముగింపు అన్నట్టుగా అర్థం వస్తుంది ఇట్ మెంట్ ది ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ జీసస్ అబిలిటీ టు హెల్ప్ జైరస్ డాటర్ యాయిర్ కూతురికి సహాయం చేయలేని ఒక అసమర్థత యేసుకుంది అన్నట్టు because who can raise the dead endukante murthudaina vaanni evaru leppagalaru it's amazing that he can heal aina swastha parachagalada adbhutame but who can raise the dead kaani murthulani evaru leppagalaru who can do the impossible things asadhyamaina pani evaru cheyagalaru jairus is as a father yaayiru oka tandriga he is looking at his situation tana paristhitini chusadu it was impossible adi asadhyamani gamaninchi what can we do now ippudu em cheyali there's no medicine nikka mundu levu there's no laying on of hands akada cheyathulu unche paristhitini not anything we can do ikka mana cheyyadi chese ledhu it's impossible chey daati poyindi nobody can help my daughter now yavarna kootriki saay padaleru oh but this was a different kind of father that was standing there kaana ka nilabadinatundi tandri vere vidhamaina tandri the prince of life aina jeeva pradhata oh he said i am the resurrection and the life aina nadu nene purarthanamunu jeevamune unnan god's abilities never end devudu samarthyam entha varikeyana adduledu he will do more and abundantly aina vistaraga entaina cheyagalu you can ever think aina mana uhinchindani kante even imagine mana uhinchindani kante he is god aina devudu ayunnadu when you think that 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 all hope is lost anta nirikshana ayipoyind anukunnapudu when you feel like you've reached the end of your road mana aa dwara radari mugi That's where Jesus Christ comes on the scene. Akkada Yesu var raga me dadigata. That's where he begins. Akkada aina vastadu. He is the God of the impossible. Aina asadhyalni suchadhyam chesadu. He is almighty God. Sarva shakti mantudu aina. Death does not worry him. Aa maranam aina epi bandi pettadu. He is the giver of life. Aina jeeva pradhata. Nothing will hinder the plan of God. Edi devudu pranaliki natanga parichedu ledhu. Jesus made Jairus a promise. Yesu Christu varu yaayi ki maatichadu. And he promised to come to his house. Nee intiki vastanu ani. He said I will come to your house. Nee nee intiki vastanu ani. And I will heal your daughter. Nee kumarthu swastha parustha. He made a promise to Jairus. Vaagdanam chesesadu yaayi. And God's word does not fail. Devudu vaakyamu vifalavu kaadu. He made you a promise. Nee yokka vaagdanamu. If you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Prabhuni Yesu andre vishwasam unthe. Thou and thy house. shall be saved nee unni inti varu rakshinchabadu god's word cannot fail they only walk in vifalam kaadu amen not even death maranamu deggara kuda can stop god they unni aapa ledu so don't be afraid kanaka bhay padakandi only believe kevala nammandi We're talking about a heavenly father. Paralokapu tandri gurinchi mana maatladutunnam. That can do the impossible things. Asadhyamaina vi susadhyam chesevadu. So what you think is impossible tonight? Ee ratri meer edaithe idu asadhyam anukuntunnaru. Those things you've prayed for for so many years. Aneka samasral tarabadi nu deni kosam aithe prarthinchavu. Your situation has gone so bad. Neevu entha entho ekku ga aasisthunnaru. It's become impossible. Ani adi asadhyamu anukunna karyam. There's no way. Neevu inka There's no way. Margame led anukunnadi. All hope is lost. Inka nirikshana ledu. You prayed so long. Neevu ento kaalu nunchi prarthisthunna. So many years have gone by. Aneka samasralu gadichi poyayi. That's where God comes on the scene. Akkade devudu rangam meda kostadu. God is right on time. Devudu eppudu tagina samayalo vastadu. Amen. Jairus's name means God has enlightened. Yaayiru naamaniki artham enti anante devude veliginchadu ani. Jairus is receiving revelation. Yaayiru bailu paatnu pondukunnadu. He's being enlightened. Aina veliginchabadadu. To who this is in his midst. Aina to who this is that is standing there. Aaka nilabanna 20 aina. God knows how to enlighten us. Devudiki telusumalu ela veliginchalo. He knows how to bring revelation. Bailu paatu ela gevalu telusa aina ki. And he turns to Jairus. Yaayiru vaipu tirigadu aina. And he says Jairus. Aina annadu Yaayiru. The only thing you have to do right now. Ippudu nu cheyalsina thoravaina pani. Look at me Jairus. Nannu chudnu. Don't worry about all these things. Ee tanneedu gurinchi chelthu cheyandi. Don't worry about the doctor's report. Aa koorthuru gurinchi vachina samacharam. Don't worry about that messenger's report. Vartamanam techina vartamanam ikkada vartamanam machu. Keep your eyes fixed me jairus nee kannu na meede unchu yaayiru just believe kevala namo do you believe that i care about my daughter na kumarthe gurinchi nenu chesanu anukunna you see what i've done for my daughter na kootri kosam nenu em chesanu chusa va i made you a promise jairus nenu vaagdana neeku ichchanu jairus keep your eyes fixed on me nee kannu drushti na meede unchu yaayiru only believe kevala namo all things are possible samasthamunu sadhyame only believe kevala namo that was his theme song adi 
in those prayer lines in those prayer lines to make the angel of God feel welcome that's what they would sing it's only believe all things are possible only believe Lord I believe all things are possible everything is possible Jesus is here all things are possible it's not just a song it's real tonight Jesus Christ is here all things are possible you can touch him and be healed tonight but what about your impossible situation? What about those things we can't even talk about? Those things that we have given up on. Those things we, we don't think can come right again. They have, they have reached the end. What about those things? He's still God. Amen. Amen. Only believe. Then they, he gets to Jairus' house. Finally he gets to Jairus' house. And finally we've come to the end of the service. <laughs> we don't want to leave Jairus' daughter laying there. We want to see her raised from the dead. <laughs> finally. After all this time. See God takes time. Why does he do that? That, to build our faith that we can be under the right expectation Amen. Amen So when we get to the end of the service tonight our faith will have come to such a place that we can speak anything in His name and it shall be given to you that our faith will rise tonight that we will proclaim healing that we shall ask and believe that sickness shall be healed. That we shall be made whole tonight. That our families will be delivered. We've taken the time tonight to stand still with Jesus to see what he will do. May our faith rise. And now we come to Jairus' house. Jairus, we're finally home. What is all the noise in your house? What is going on in your home? He had mourners. They brought mourners to his house. According to them, it was over. They were already singing the songs. They already had the casket there. They already bought the grave. It was over in their eyes. There was no coming back from this. And so they hired these mourners. In these days, in those days, should I say, these were professionals. They knew what they were doing. Oh, they knew how to create an atmosphere. They were mourners. Oh, they would wail. And they would cry. And they would cause a scene. And they would bring sadness. Oh, creating an atmosphere of doubt. And fear. As Jesus is coming. As Jairus was coming. Oh, these mourners. Mourners, these demons of doubt, trying to, trying to pull the faith down, trying to tell Jairus that it's over. Just leave Jesus alone. It's over. We're professional. She's dead. She's dead. We've looked at her. We've examined the situation. We have the evidence. She's lost. You're too late. We're professionals. We went to school for this. We know what we're talking about. We know how to sing the song. We've seen this over and over. Oh, we've seen this so many times before. Oh, they knew the routine. They knew the routine. The pattern. 
అది వారికి సర్వసాధారణం తెలుసు they knew how it should play out అది ఎలాగ జరుగుతదో క్రమం తెలుసు she died ఆమె చనిపోయింది she could not be saved ఆమె ఎంత మాత్రం రక్షించబడదు she could not be healed ఆమె స్వస్థపడదు the next thing తర్వాత విషయం is we need mourners మనకి ప్రలాపించవారు కదా they hire the mourners కనుక ప్రలాపించవారు అది రొటీన్ అది వారు ఎప్పుడు చేసే ప్రయత్నం traditions of men వారు మనుషుల ఆచారాలని with no power శక్తి లేకుండా no ability to raise from the dead మరణములో నుంచి లేపడానికి సామర్థ్యం లేదు just like some of the churches ఎలాగంటే కొన్ని సంఘాల వలె preaching something ఏదో బోధిస్తూ singing songs about something ఏదో దాని గురించి పాట పాడుతూ that does not raise the faith of the people ప్రజల విశ్వాసాన్ని లేపలేరు వాళ్ళు but it's a dead thing కానీ వారు it's a dead thing ఆ మృతమైన పై it doesn't bring life అది జీవంలోనికి రాదు but jesus was coming anyway ఆయన యేసుక్రీస్తు వారు ఏదేమైనా వచ్చాడు he was coming to knock on the door ఆయన తలుపు తట్టడానికి వచ్చాడు oh he's come to knock on your door tonight ఈ ద్వారాని తట్టడానికి రాత వచ్చాడు there was death ఎక్కడ మరణం ఉందో life was coming జీవం వస్తుంది where there was darkness yakaraithe chikadundo the light was shining akara velugu prakashisthundi he's come to knock on our door hi namar dwaran tatta ko come out of her my people randi na prajala rami nunchi amen they open the door var dwaran nirchar and they say var annaru what are you doing here meer andar ikkada em chestunnaru What are you doing here Jesus? ఇక్కడ మీరు ఏం చేస్తున్నారు అని అడిగారు యేసు. You're just a man. ఆయన ఒక మనిషి నువ్వు. Who do you think you are? నువ్వు అసలు ఏం అనుకుంటున్నావు నిన్ను గొచ్చి అని యేసుని అడిగారు వాళ్ళు. Oh my just think about who he is tonight. ఆయన ఈ రాత్రి ఏమై ఉన్నాడో ఆలోచించండి. Why make you this to do? ఏంది నిన్ను ఇలా చేసేటట్టు చేసింది? Jesus is talking to them now. యేసుక్రీస్తు వారు అక్కడ మనిషితో మాట్లాడారు. What are you doing? మీరు అందరూ ఏం చేస్తున్నారు? Why do you weep like that? ఎందుకు అలాగ రోదిస్తున్నారు? Why are you sad? ఎందుకు విచారంతో ఉన్నారు? Why are you crying? ఎందుకు ప్రలాపిస్తున్నారు? She's not dead. ఆమె చనిపోలేదు. Because I am here. ఎందుకంటే నేను ఇక్కడ ఉన్నాను. I am the resurrection and the life. నేనే పునరుద్ధానమును జీవమునై ఉన్నాను. I'm not too late. నేను ఆలస్యం కాలేదు. I am here. నేను ఇక్కడే ఉన్నాను. I'm right on time. నేను సమయానికే వచ్చాను. and i'm here to speak to her ippudu nenu maatladutana vito i am here to honor jairus's faith nenu yayer yokka vishwasanni ganaparustanu his faith has brought me to his house aina vishwasam than intiki nachindi nadu his faith drew me to his house aina vishwasam than intiki nadipindi his faith has, dro- has, has brought me to his daughter aina vishwasam than kootra nadu nachindi and i am here to honor that faith aa vishwasanni ganaparustanu and i'm right on time nenu samayanni kochanu i'm not delayed nenu alasyam kaaledu i'm not late nenu alasyam kaanu i'm right on time nenu samayaniki vachanu why do you weep meeru enduku edustunnaru why are you sad enduku meeru vichara you should be rejoicing meeru aanadichali oh because hope has come endukante nirikshana vachindi grace has come krupa vachindi deliverance has come vidudala vachindi healing has come swasthata vachindi life has come prema jeeva vachindi the answer to your prayers is here nee prarthana javab ikkada unnadi why do you weep enduku edustunnaru why are you sad tonight enduki raatri vich Oh, do you see who is here? Yeah, ani wo kaval sinna tikkade undi. You might say brother Chris. You might say brother Chris. Meer anachu sodara Chris. I've come to church. Nen sangani kochanu. So many times. Aneka saarlu. I prayed so many times. Nen aneka saarlu prarthinchanu. This is normal. Idantha sadharana. It's become normal for me. Naaku sadharana ayipoyindi. Don't let it be normal tonight. Nee raatri sadharananga undu. Recognize who is here. recognize who is here aini ekkada evaru unnaro gurtichu he is the same god tonight aini ade devudai unnadi raatri we should be rejoicing manu santoshatha undali if we recognize who is here in our midst manu majjile evaru unnaro manu gurtiste oh we wouldn't weep and cry manu edustunnochu oh man we would be stirred manu andaram kuda kadilchi vey we would come to church with a different attitude manu vere vaikartho sangar gurtunnaru we would come with praise manu sutulto vachunnaru we would be rejoicing manu aanandisthamu why because life was here endukatte jeevam ikkada undi he is here aayade ikkada unna he is here to change my condition na parisithi maarchadani vachadu he is here to save my family na kutumbam rakshinchadani vachadu i'm going to touch him with my faith na yokka vishwasam daintho vachadu he's going to make a difference in my life na jeevithamlo aina bedha kalagadu he's going to make a difference in my family na kutumbamlo bedha kalagadu he's going to change my church na sangaanni maarustadu sometimes we get so caught up konni saari entaga dorikestamante with the negative things manam pratikoolamaina vaatiki pattu varthamu we get caught up with the negative things at church pratikoolamaina vishayalla sangalu pattu varthamu become unhappy manam santosham lekunnaru we lose sight of who god is devudu evarane drushti lopam vastadi we get caught up 
మనం దొరికేస్తుంది we get distracted మనం అందరూ కూడా మతి మన దృష్టి మనం criticism మనం విమర్శలకు ఎక్కువ we get distracted by the negative things మనం ప్రతికూలమైన వాటి వైపు ఎడుస్తాం and they make us sad వారు మనల్ని విచారం చేస్తారు we start to sing those songs ఆ పాటలే మనం పాట పాడాలి so sing a different song మీరు భేదమైన పాట పాడండి look to jesus యేసు వైపు చూడండి He will change your church. Ni sangane varu sadu. If you come with the right attitude to church. Ni sarena vaikarta sangane kosthe. He can change your pastor. Ni oka kaapane varu sadu. He can change your friends. Ni sneethulu varu sadu. He can change your deacons. Ni oka pedalu varu sadu. He can change your trustees. Ni oka namakasulu varu sadu. He can change the musicians. Ni oka sangeetha kaalu vaa chestadu. He's a changer of hearts. Aina hrudayalu patinichay vaadu. He's a life giver. Aina jeeva pradatha. He don't be negative. ఆ ఎంత మాత్రం పట్టుకోల పడకండి డోంట్ గెట్ కాట్ అప్ ఇన్ ది నెగటివ్ థింగ్స్ మీరు పట్టుకోలమై వాటిలతో పట్టబడకండి ఓ సింగ్ అ డిఫరెంట్ సాంగ్ టునైట్ ఆయనకి రాత్రి పాట పాడదాం ఓ ప్రైజ్ ది నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ది లార్డ్ ప్రభు నామం స్తోత్రించబడి ఉంది బికాజ్ హిస్ నేమ్ ఇస్ మైటీ ఎందుకంటే ఆయన నామం బలమైనది హిస్ వర్డ్ ఇస్ టునైట్ ఆయన ఈ రాత్రి ఉన్నాడు హి కెన్ మేక్ అ డిఫరెంట్ ఆయన బేదాన్ని కలుగు చేస్తాడు The devil has lied to us long enough. Satanudu aneka saru mana kabatham cheptaru. He's lied to us long enough. Manaki chala ekku abatham cheppesaru. We've listened to the songs of the mourners long enough. Chala kaalam nunchi pralapa geethalu intanu manu. It's time to change the band. Manamu aa band varni maacheyali. Get worshipers. Get worshipers instead. Aaradhi kulli daniki modu thevali. Get someone who will quote the word to you. Get someone who will bring the word. Vaakyam techa varu thevali. Hallelujah. 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 It's up to you and me. Neeku naake sambandhinchindi. It's our attitude. Mana vaikari chestadi idi. It's our attitude to Christ. Christu vaipu mana vaikari ela undi. That makes a difference. Adhe bedaani kalaga chestadi. Don't blame your pastor when things go wrong. Parisithulu binnanga vellapudu mee kaapa nindinchadu. Don't blame the deacons. Meeru sangha pedaani nindinchadu. Look to God. Devudu vaipu chodandi. God can make the change. Devudu maarpu cheyvadu. God can change people. Devudu prajalu maarustadu. Pray for your pastor. Nee kaapari kosam prarthichu. Pray for your position. Nee oka sangeetha vaichu. Pray for your deacons. Mee sangha pedaru kosam prarthichu. Don't give up on them. Yantha maatramu prarthinchadu manaku. Pray. Prarthichu. God said. Devudu annadu. power there's power in prayer prarthana lo shakti daagi unnadi brother branham says sadhu branham garu antaru the the weapon that's been given to the church sangari ki evapadina aayudham the most powerful weapon has been given to the church adhyantha shakti vantamaina aayudham prarthana annadu and that is prayer adhi prarthana brother branham says prayer changes things sadhu branham garu antaru prarthana parichithra maarthu i believe that nenu namuthunnan danni i believe that our prayers can change our churches prarthana mana sangali maarthu i believe it can change hearts of people nenu namuthunnanu prajala hrudayalu maarthu your life ni jeevithanni maarchagalu hallelujah hallelujah Thank oh you. i hope you hear me tonight ee ratri vintunnaru nenu namuthu just to change your life ni jeevithanni maarchunu hallelujah thank you jesus <laughs> i'm so thankful for what he has done i'm just not going to enter court i'm so thankful it's not up to us adi mana saaka mana mana pani kaadu adi oh but that he is our champion aina vijayata manaki cuz we cannot change things manam parisithula maatsalem we cannot change our lives man jeevithalu maatchukolem but he can kaani aina maatsagalu we cannot change the impossible manam asadhyamaina susadhyam cheyalem we cannot change hearts manam hrudayalu maatsalem but he can kaani aai cheyagalutadu And I'm so thankful for that tonight. Neeli ratri enta kurtagino. Just walk with him. Aayin to kalisi nadtam. Just keep your eyes fixed on him. Aayin kallulu mana kallulu aayin kalisi. It's going to work out. Mano chese panchi kuda. He'll take care of it. Aayin chinta chestadu daniki. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Jesus is on the scene now. Yesu varu ippudu rangam meda unnadu. Just like that voice that called Lazarus out of the grave. Lazar ni edaithe swaram samadhi nunchi pilchindo. He calls to this little girl. Aa chinna balikanu pilchadu aina. Come forth. Nuvu lechu levumu. And notice gamaninchandi. That what that little girl's condition was so bad. Aa aa balika yokka paristhiti enta chedda ga undante. She was so lost. Aa me enta nasinchindante. How many here has a child that is so lost? Aa laga nasinchina bidda. They're in the world. One second. Pillal chenipoyinundi. Aa devu nunchi dooram unna pillalu kaligina talidulu entha mandu unnaru. 
they're in the world they're not serving God it seems like they could never touch God they wouldn't even know how to touch God oh but there's someone he knows they can't touch him they don't have the, the ability to touch God they don't have the ability to touch God girl was in that condition she was dead it was impossible for her to touch jesus ame vachi yesu ni taakadam asadhyam akada that woman that woman that touched jesus yesu ni taakina aastri at least she could touch god ame devunni atli kanisam taakaligindi she could reach out and touch god kanisam yesu taakaligindi this little girl kani chinna balika she had no ability to touch jesus aine taakadali kanisam samarthya ledhu she needed jesus christ yesu varu ame kavasaram so jesus knows about that aa vishayam yesu variki telusu he knows she cannot touch him. ame aile taakaleda telusu he knows she doesn't have the strength ఆమెకు బలం లేదని తెలుసు ఓ హి కేమ్ టు మీ ఐన నా దగ్గరికి వచ్చాడు when i could not come నేను ఆయన దగ్గరికి రాలేను when i could not go to him నేను ఆయన దగ్గరికి వెళ్ళలేనప్పుడు he came to me నా దగ్గరికి ఆయన వచ్చాడు హల్లెలూయా హల్లెలూయా he came to me నా దగ్గరికి ఆయన వచ్చాడు when i could not come నేను ఆయన దగ్గరికి చేరలేనప్పుడు he came to me నా దగ్గరికి ఆయన వచ్చాడు he comes to jairus daughter యా ఇయర్ కుత్ర దగ్గరికి వచ్చాడు ఆయన and he reaches out his hand ain't she chapadu and he touches her i'm in ain't takadu and he takes her by the hand ain't she then but lepadu he reaches out to that condition a paristhitilo ka aine chey chapadu that lifeless little body that lifeless little body a chinna dehamu jeevan leka padu that could not even speak jesus name yesu naamam kuda ucharinchalen sthiti it didn't even know he was there ayina unnadu ane sangathu kuda amiki telivu he reached through all those things kana annitni daati ayina velladu she could not cry out to him ayina kaame mohar petledu she didn't even know he was there in the room ayina kuda unnadu gadulu ani kuda amiki telivu he reached out anyway yelage nayina velladu oh he was strong enough ayina entha balavanthu rette oh his grace was sufficient enough ayina మార్చువాడు ఆయనే he kept his promise aina maata nilabettukunnadu he kept his promise aina maata yaayiru patla nilabettadu he's the god of his word aina maata nilabettukune devudu even jairus could not do anything yaayiru kuda em cheyalekapoyadu the law could not do anything dharma shastra em cheyalekapoyadu medicine could not do anything vaidyam em cheyalekapoyadu the little girl could not do anything aa sri kuda aa balik kuda em cheyalekapoyadu he could do it all kaani aina ni cheyagalu he was everything aina samasam he was life aina jeevam he was a resurrection aina punnadanam he was healing aina swasthata he is everything to aina samastham ee ratri unnadu everything you have need of neeku avasaram enna pothi jesus christ yesu christu lo ee ratri unnadi praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah if that woman touched jesus astri yesu vanni taakinappudu it should have made him unclean aina apithruga cheyalsindi poyi and then he would not have been able to touch the little girl aina a chinna streeni balikanu mutlakunda ipudu look at how much strength there is in jesus christ chodan yesu varlu enta shakti daagundo look at the power of god devudu shaktini chodandi look at the grace of god devudu krupan chodandi look at the strength of grace tonight krupa konna balam ento chodandi none of those things affected him avanni emi aniki ibbandi vetledu none of our doubts and fears mana yokka bhayalu aadagollanu the pran and preach the message so the pran garu uttamanam cheppi does unbelief i know affect god devuni ki avishwasam leva change the mind of god devuni manasu evarina maarpu cheyagalara does change his mind concerning you nee gurinchina manasu evarina maarpu cheyagalara because he knows you in the container ninni erigi unnadu he knows you're not strong enough nee ku aayiki telusu nee balagale he knows we are weak manam balayilu va telusu he knows we have fears and doubts manaki kuda sandehalu bhayalu undi he comes anyway aina elagaina vastunadu because we need him in the kante manaki aina avasaram undi Amen. We don't have to fear him tonight. Manam ee ratri bhay padalsina avasaram ledhu. Let's stand. Man nilabadadam. Thank you Lord. The prophet says, Pravakta antunadu. See, 
చూడండి this is from the message the resurrection of jairus's daughter yair kumarthe yokka punaruddhanamu ane vartamanam idi he says see ayin antunnadu chudu fear not bhaya padaku only believe kevalam nammu all things are possible to them that believe విశ్వసించు వారికి సమస్తమును సాధ్యమే no matter what the circumstance is paristhitulu emai unna pattinchukoku what papa says tandri em antunnadu what mama says thalli em antundi we're believing what god said devudu em annado dhanni mana namutunnam and the bible says in hebrews 13:8 parishuddha granthamlo hebri patrika 13 8 lo that jesus christ yesu christu is the same aina yesterday today and forever aina ninna nedu nirantaramu okate reethiga unnadu he will be the same tomorrow aina repu kuda okalage untadu he will be the same on sunday aina aadivaram okela untadu he will be the same on monday aina somvaram alage untadu next month aina vache nela he is the same forever aina yuga yugamula alage untadu he will always be the god of the impossible aina ellappudu అసాధ్యాన్ని సుసాధ్యం ఎల్లప్పుడు నీ స్వస్థపరచువాడే జస్ట్ రీచ్ అవుట్ అండ్ టచ్ కేవలం మీరు చేయి చాపని తాకండి డి యు బిలీవ్ టునైట్ ఈ రాత్రి మీరు నమ్ముతున్నారా కెన్ ఐ టెల్ యు ఎ షార్ట్ టెస్టిమోని చిన్న సాక్ష్యం నేను చెప్పొచ్చా మీకు ఐ వాస్ ఐ వాస్ ప్రీచింగ్ దిస్ సర్మన్ నేను ఈ కంశాన్ని బోధించినప్పుడు ఇన్ ఆఫ్రికా ఆఫ్రికా దేశంలో ఎన్ ఐ వాస్ ప్రీచింగ్ నేను బోధిస్తుండగా and and I, i encourage the people present nen prochinchanu i said just have faith nen annan kevalam vishwasam undi just believe kevalam nammandi like the centurion aika satadhipati vale like the serphenician woman aika surephikne stree vale your faith nee vishwasam can make a difference nee vishwasam binnanni kalaga chestunnaru maybe there's somebody at home tonight ee raj ratri evaro inti dar undochu that you are praying for vaari kosam meer prarthisthundochu your faith can touch them nee vishwasam vaarini taakachu You believe that? Me namuthunna dinni and I was encouraging the people. Nenu prajalaki prochesthunnanu. There was a lady that came with a testimony the next day. Tarvata roju sakshyam oka stree vachindi. They had a, a girl. Ame oka balika vachindi. A little girl. Chinna balika that hasn't been able to walk her whole life. Ame jeevithamlo eppudu nadavaledu ame. When she got home. Eppudaithe ame inti dagara unnado. She was walking. Ame nadustu unnadi. She was walking. Ame nadustu modala pettindi. He's the same tonight. Aini ratra de devudu. Do you believe? Me namuthunnara? Do you have a need tonight? Ee ratri meeku avasaram unte. You want to touch the Lord tonight? Prabhu nee ratri meer taakal anukuntunnara? You want to have an opportunity to touch him? Aini taake avakasam kosam edru chustunnara? Say Lord. Antunnara Prabhu. I heard that you care about your daughter. Nee kumarthi gurinchi nee chinta chestunnara? I heard about what faith can do tonight. Nee swasam ratri em chestundi meeru? You're not looking at her weaknesses. you came because we were weak mem balahinam kabatte nee vacha i could not touch you nee ninu taakalenappudu you came by my way nee una margalo gochavu touch me nee unan taakavu maybe you've been isolated nee nu samajaniki maybe you've been alone nee vantra gunnavemo you know you can be in a church full of people nee vu sangallo poorthiga janta nee you could still be alone inka nee vantra ga anubhavinchaemo they don't know about your your need ni avasaram ento variki teliyadu give suffered privately ni wo lopa lopala antarangalo madaram ayyo in your secret of your home ni yokka inti degara rahasyallo you have these hurts and pains ni ko baadalu unnai noppu undi you have these troubles ni ko samasyalu unnai you come to church ni wo sangari gochavu and you wonder to scar even see me ni wo chodali ani vachavu oh he saw he saw that woman aina sreen chusadu He delayed long enough. Aina yanta cheyalanta japin chesadu. He was just waiting. Aina kevalam vechi unnadu. Just slow down long enough. Nenu idi ee samayam ani vachu. Came by her way. Aame oka margam loniki. So that she could touch him. Aina aame nu taakunnatlu ga samayanni avunukolu. You're alone. Nee vantra ga unte. If you've been isolated. Nee kuda samajana velive padte. If you've been suffering with guilt and shame. Nee kuda ninda tho ninda bhavam tho unte. Touch him tonight. Ee raatri aini taaku. You don't have to be isolated. Nee vu vera yundakalle. It doesn't matter what people say. Prajale em antunnaru. It doesn't matter what people think. Prajale vaalu chestaru kaadu. What does he say? Aayane vantunnadu. What does he think? Aayane vaalu chestunnadu. Don't you want to be free? Meeru swaychaga undala kotledha. You want to be delivered tonight? Ee raatri meer vidudala koratledha. Can we pray together? Manandra kalsi prarthidama. You can touch him tonight. Ee raatri meer ayin taakachu. You know how you touch him? 
మీకు తెలుసు ఆయన మీరు తాకినప్పుడు సింపుల్ మస్టర్డ్ సీడ్ ఫేస్ ఆ వగినంత విశ్వాసంతో తాకొచ్చు మీరు యు మై సే ఐ డోంట్ హావ్ వెరీ మచ్ ఫేత్ టు నైట్ మీరు అనొచ్చునకంతక విశ్వాసం లేదు రాత్రి ఐ యామ్ బ్యాక్ స్లిడెన్ నేను దిగజారి పోయాను ఐ హావెంట్ బీన్ సర్వింగ్ గాడ్ లైక్ ఐ షుడ్ బీ నేను ఎంతగా ఆరాధించాలి దేవుణ్ణి అలా సేవించాలి మేబీ యు నాట్ సర్వింగ్ గాడ్ అట్ ఆల్ నేను ఎంత మాత్రం దేవుడిని సేవించట్లేదు వాట్ ఫేస్ డు ఐ ఈవెన్ హావ్ టు టచ్ హిమ్ నేను ఆయన తాకడానికి నాకు ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ యు కెన్ టచ్ హిమ్ మీవు కూడా తాకొచ్చాయి ఇఫ్ యు జస్ట్ హంబుల్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ బిఫోర్ హిమ్ టునైట్ నేను నీవు ఆయన ఎదుట దీనుడిగా చేసుకోగలిగితే die to your opinions me alochana ki just die to your sins me papal ki die to your shame me yokka avamana ki lord i come to you i am prabhu dekar ko chaa i'm not worthy to come nenu yokka ni coming anyway nee aina nenu ostanam prabhu oh let him touch you aina thakare let his hand of grace be extended upon you aina krupa hastamu nee vaipu chaapanivu he will change your life nee jeevithanni maarustadu he'll make you over new aina nenu nootana srushti ga chestha you can walk out of here free tonight ee raatri ikkada nunchi swatantrudu ga nee velthaavu Amen. Amen. Why don't we just pray? Manam prarthana chestunnam. Just pray in your own way. Me santa vidhanalo prarthinchandi. Raise your hands if you want to. Me chethu le prarthinchalanukunte chethu lepandi. We can pray for you at the front here also. Meer munduku vasthe ikkada kuda prarthana chestunnam. Whatever you need tonight. Ee raatri meeku em avasaram unna? Jesus is willing. Yesu vaari istapathi istachu. Jesus Christ was available. Yesu vaari ikkada unnadu. Jesus invited him to his home. Yeah, he irtan intiga honinchadu. If you invite him into your heart. Nee hrudayallo ga na honinchadu. He will come. Ayin tappaku vastadu. Oh, he is so willing tonight. Ayini raatri anta istapathi kalugunadu. He's just waiting for you to say the word. Nu oka maata nalana ayin edurtunnadu. He wants to help you. Neeku sahayam cheyalanu. He wants to, to change your situation. Nee paristhithi maatsalanukuntu. Whatever it takes. Adi anta kashtamaina. If you need hands laid on. Nee che ayin chethulu chey. If you need to touch something i need to take all and if you need a brother to touch you me ko sahodara to take it go every you need tonight yavar ke ni ratri kavalante don't leave the same way you came in me wo achinatlu ga ikkada chalaku oh settle it once and for all tonight and anta tiki ee roju parishkaram chesthe come to his presence tonight ee ratri ani sannidhilo unnadu oh let him change your life ni jeevithanni maarchani vaayi let him raise you up from that bed of death aa yokka maranapu kopam nunchi ninni lepani let him raise you up from that condition aa parisithra nunchi ninni lepani vu just pray to him me ka me rani ko prarthana just ask him tonight i nadagandi ratri can we just sing a song softly manu mrudhu ga paata paadala just worship him softly a little while i ni mrudhu ga aaradhitam it's great an atmosphere tonight ee roju aa vaatavarana ni maarustha how many is thankful for his grace tonight entha mandi ratri aina krupan battu vandana how many is thankful for the grace of god devudu krupa ka entha mandi vandana sulu we wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for his grace oka vela aina krupa lekapothe manam unde varu so thankful he came by my way aina margallo vachadu change my life a jeevitham maachadu what about you tonight ee roju ratri nee paristhithi enti oh let's just worship him a little while aina kontha samayam aaradhitam Praise the Lord. Stiti gatula ni ti. Just pray to him while we worship. Aaniki aradhistu pratyatam. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jeevita Thank you Lord Jesus. Katu ara stala. Thank you Lord Jesus. Katu ara stiti gatula ni ti. marchua ajivitala nitini thank you lord god god lord we welcome you tonight yes so oh, come by our way tonight lord lord do not pass me by tonight samasta i'm crying out to you tonight lord come and touch me this evening no chitta kanne nenu bar patta mirathi he can heal you i need a sasta varchukaldu oh let him touch you tonight i need aathi takalivu just worship him i know aradhisa oh we don't have to mourn manu we can worship him tonight i know aradhisa manu you can approach him tonight ee raatri ani samipe chaalu he will not push you away i need him to get away just come i need to get ready praise the lord march you are jeevitala nitini kaduwada sthiti gatula nitini hallelujah hallelujah lord archuwa hallelujah lord jeevitala thank you lord god 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we love you. Thank you for your grace, Lord. How we need you tonight. Make a difference in our lives. We love you, Lord Jesus. We have faith in you tonight. We're touching you with our faith tonight. Oh, cover me with your wings tonight, Lord. Oh, let me hide myself in you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's pray together. Lord, you see our sister here tonight. Lord, she's stepped forward. Lord, she's expressing her faith in you tonight. Oh, God, may you come by her way tonight. And may your Holy Spirit, Lord, wrap yourself around her tonight. Lord, may you rescue her from her condition. Lord, may you save her. May your Holy Spirit, Lord, capture her attention tonight. Lord, as she lays her life down before you, as she presents herself to you tonight, Lord, may you touch her, Lord Jesus. May strength flow down into her body tonight, Lord God. May you heal her, Lord. May you restore her tonight, Lord Jesus. We commit her to you. Lord, you said we can come to you and we, you will not cast us out. You will not push us aside. Lord, our sister has come, Lord. Lord, we, she is inviting you into her life tonight, Lord God. Touch her, Lord Jesus. May your Holy Spirit, Lord, flow through her body. May it restore her into fellowship with you. Lord, may it bring healing and virtue and strength, oh God, is our prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. Just believe, sister. It's going to be all right. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, we pray to you tonight. Lord, we reach out to you, Lord, by faith, knowing you can make a difference, Lord. Touch our sister's life tonight, Lord. Make the difference, oh God. By your grace, Lord. By your mercy, Lord Jesus. Lord, if we come to you, Lord, Lord, you will not push us aside, Lord. Lord, but you will wrap us up in your wings, Lord. Lord, you will hide us, Lord, in the time of trouble. Oh, Lord Jesus, will you hide her in your love tonight, Lord? Will you rewrite her life, Lord Jesus? Lord, may your Holy Spirit, Lord, lead her and guide her. Keep her in your grace. Keep her in your mercy, Lord. Protect her from harm. Lord, may your Holy Spirit, Lord, fill her body. In Jesus Christ's name. Praise the Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we bow humbly before you tonight. Lord, with our needs and with our cares. Lord, knowing that you care for us, Lord. So we lay them down before you tonight, Lord. Lord, that you may touch those needs, Lord. We know you can make the difference. We believe in you tonight, Lord. Touch these sisters' needs tonight, Lord. We'll give you all the glory and all the power and all the, all the, all the praise, Lord. We love you, Lord. We believe in you tonight. We're trusting in you, Lord Jesus. It's our prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you with our cares and our needs and our families, Lord. Lord, and our personal needs tonight, Lord. May you touch us, Lord. May you restore us tonight, Lord. May you bring the answer for us tonight, Lord God. We invite your Holy Spirit into our lives, Lord, into our homes, Lord. We welcome you tonight, Lord. And have preeminence in Jesus Christ's name. We give you thanks. Amen. Only believe. Only believe. All things are possible tonight, Lord. If we can just believe, Lord. We're trusting in you, Lord. We come to you with our weaknesses, Lord. We come to you with our frailties, Lord Jesus. Lord, because we know that you are stronger. We know that you are a God of love, Lord Jesus. May your Holy Spirit, Lord, wrap this sister in your love. Oh, may your Holy Spirit come down, Lord. You said you are... You are God and you are a consuming fire. May you consume her life tonight, Lord. And may you fill her, Lord, every fiber of her body, from her, from her mind, Lord, all the way to the soles of her feet tonight. May you fill every fiber of her body in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you tonight. Lord, we have needs in our midst, Lord. Lord, we care tonight. We care about our family. We care about our loved ones, Lord. And Lord, we know that if we care, how much more do you care tonight, Lord? So we cry out to you. 
Lord, we cry out your name tonight. In the name of Jesus, let there be liberty. In the name of Jesus, let there be healing tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be deliverance. Lord, we look to you, Lord, for salvation. We look to you, Lord, to make the difference in our lives. Change us, Lord God. Mold us, Lord. You are the potter. We are the clay. So, Lord, take control. Lord, we, we surrender to you tonight in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you, Lord. We come to you, Lord, with our hearts open. Lord, we welcome you tonight. May your Holy Spirit, Lord, just cover over us, Lord. May it heal us. May it may attend to our needs tonight, Lord. We know you see us tonight. We know that you know all about us tonight, Lord. May you make the difference, Lord Jesus. May the power of, of your blood, Lord, wash us. May the power of your name, Lord, lead us. Lord, may you come, Lord Jesus, as we commit ourselves to you afresh. Lord, revive our hearts, Lord. Stir us, Lord God, as we touch you tonight, Lord. May strength flow out from you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. Amen. Lord, we pray, Lord, for our families tonight. We pray for healing. We pray for deliverance. We pray for salvation. Lord, you see the hearts of these people tonight. Lord, they want to be touched, Lord, by the Master. Lord, even when we cannot touch you, Lord, may you reach down and touch us, Lord. As we commit our lives to you tonight, Lord, come, Holy Spirit. We need you, Lord God. Come, Lord, we believe in you, Lord Jesus. We believe in the impossible tonight. We commit ourselves to you this evening. In Jesus Christ's name, we believe. Amen. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, touch our dear sister and her son tonight. Lord, you see us tonight. You see our needs. You know what is wrong. Lord, you know what is needed, Lord. Nothing escapes your eyes tonight, Lord. You gave us your promise, Lord, that even if a little bird would fall, Lord, that you see it. How much more do you see us, O oh Lord God? So, Lord, we come to you not in fear, but we come to you in faith tonight, Lord, believing that you can make the difference. Believing in you, Lord, to bring a change. We love you, Lord Jesus. We have faith in you. And we thank you for what you have done for us. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Gracious Heavenly Father, how we love you. We are so appreciate you tonight. Lord, you are so wonderful. You are full of grace and truth. You are full of life tonight. And Lord, we need you, Lord. We want to walk with you. Lord, we want to serve you. Lord, may you wash us tonight, Lord. May your Holy Spirit come down, Lord, and heal us. May you forgive us, Lord. May you capture our hearts tonight. May your Holy Spirit burn in our hearts this evening. May you revive our hearts, Lord Jesus. Fill us with your Holy Spirit according to your word. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father, we bow humbly before you tonight. Lord, we're looking for a touch from the Master's hands. Lord, and we look for salvation. We look for deliverance. We look for fellowship tonight. Lord, may you touch these two boys tonight. Lord, may you, may you protect them. May you guide them. May your Holy Spirit, Lord, raise them up. Lord, to be men of God. Lord, may you, may you protect them from the devil. Lord, may you set a hedge around them and, and from the devil's tricks, Lord. May you be their shield. Oh, God, may your Holy Spirit, Lord, get their attention. Lord, may you save them. May you, may you wrap them in your heart, arms of love tonight, Lord. As you said, suffer the little ones to come unto you. We bring them to you tonight, Lord. May your Holy Spirit, Lord, take control of their lives. May you fill them, Lord Jesus. May you lead them, Lord, to the truth. And save them in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father. Lord, we come humbly before you tonight with our needs, Lord, and our cares. You said, Lord, we can cast our cares upon you because you care for us. But tonight, Lord, we lay it all down. We surrender them to you, Lord, because we trust in you. We trust in your word, Lord, because you said you care for us. So we know that you know what is best for us, Lord. You know how to make it turn out just right. So we're going to trust in you from now on. We're going to walk with you, Lord. Lord, may your word have its effect upon us, Lord, as we surrender to you, Lord. 
Lord, may you take us from here. May you lead us, Lord. May you guide us, Lord Jesus. As we commit their lives to you tonight. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before you tonight. As sister comes to you, Lord, with a need. You see the need, Lord. Lord, you know all about it. You knew she would be standing here tonight. Lord, you came all the way here tonight. Because we would be here. Lord, so that we could touch you. Lord, our sister wants to touch you tonight. May you revive her, Lord. May you bring healing, Lord Jesus. May you answer her prayer tonight, Lord Jesus. You see what's in her heart, Lord God. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And may your hands touch her. May you revive her. May you, may you change the situation tonight. May she go home, Lord with, Lord, with praises on her lips for what you have done. In Jesus Christ's name, we give you thanks. Because we know you've already done it, Lord. We've, you've already done it, Lord. You said you hear our prayers before we even ask them. You're already on the scene. But we thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord, we love you. Lord, we appreciate your grace tonight. Lord, we appreciate the strength of your mercy. We appreciate the power of grace tonight, Lord. Lord, when we were undone, Lord, you came on the scene. And you made us whole. Lord, you put us back together. You are the great potter. We are the clay, Lord. It's so good that we can just lay in your hands tonight, oh God. Lord, and you can take the broken pieces of our lives. And you can put them back together. Oh Lord, you know where to put those pieces tonight. You know how to heal the brokenhearted. You know how to save. You know how to wash tonight. You know how to heal. May you heal our sister. May you heal her physically and spiritually tonight. May there be a different song when she leaves this place song of worship song of praise unto you I've been in the presence of my king I've been in the presence of my heavenly father he told me things he told me that I belong to him oh Lord may you stir her heart tonight may your Holy Spirit Lord woo over our sister this evening in Jesus Christ's name Amen Amen Gracious Heavenly Father Lord, how we love you tonight. Your grace is sufficient. Lord, we're, we were weak. You are strong. Oh God, where, where we have fallen, you lift us up, Lord. You said you would fight our battles for us. Lord, you see the warfare we are in. Lord, our spirit is willing, but our flesh is weak. Lord, may you come and revive us, Lord. May you revive our sister tonight. Lord, may you heal her. Lord, may you restore her tonight. Lord, whatever her condition is tonight, it's not too big for you. There's no problem that you cannot solve. There's no sickness that you cannot heal. Oh, there's no sinner you cannot save tonight, Lord. You are the God of the impossible. May you come to our sister's need this evening in a personal way. May she know that you are here. May she know, Lord, that you have touched her. Lord, that your grace is sufficient tonight. May your Holy Spirit, Lord, take up residence in her heart tonight. May it wash her clean, O oh God. Oh, Lord, as she lays it all down tonight, Father, may you restore her into fellowship. May she walk with you from today forward. May her testimony be what you did for her tonight, that you restored her, you healed her, you touched her tonight, Lord. We give you thanks and we give you praise. We love you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Gracious Heavenly Father. Or do you see our brothers that have come forward, Lord, tonight? Oh God, they see you. They see you walking in our midst tonight. This they've been touched by the word, Lord. Lord, and they heard, Lord, that you can be welcomed. Oh Lord, if we would welcome you, Lord, you would not turn us away. But oh God, Lord, you see us tonight, Lord. You see our need. You see our condition. Even when we could not come to you, Lord, you came to us. Oh God, we were broken. We were undone. 
But Lord, you're the potter tonight. Oh, we're thankful for the potter's hands. Those gentle hands, Lord. Those mighty, powerful hands, Lord. Those hands of grace and love and mercy. Lord, may you touch these brothers' lives. May you fix them, Lord. Oh, may you mend the brokenhearted. May you wash them of their sins, Lord Jesus. May you take their shame away tonight, Lord. May you restore them. Oh, God, may your Holy Spirit burn bright in their hearts. Oh, may they know you, Lord, as their Savior. May they know you as their Redeemer tonight, Lord. You are God, and you are a consuming fire. Lord, burn out all the doubt. Burn out all the unbelief tonight, Lord. All the weaknesses, Lord. All the opinions, Lord. All the mistakes, Lord. Burn out all the dross this evening. And fill them, Lord, with joy. Fill them with your love and your grace, Lord Jesus. May your Holy Spirit overflow them tonight, Lord. Oh, God, take control. Have preeminence in their lives, Lord. Give them strength, Lord, to face the day. Give them, give them faith, Lord, to believe, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, as they reach out, Lord, give them the strength, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, you, you paid the price for us on Calvary. Lord, you paid the price for everything, for every weakness, every failure. Lord, you paid that price of redemption for us. You've redeemed us, Lord, and you said it's already done. You said, I forgive them. Oh, God, we stand forgiven before you tonight. Lord, may your grace take a hold of our brothers' lives this evening. Restore them, Lord Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we give you thanks. We give you praise for what you've done. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we humble ourselves before you tonight. You are my maker. You know all about these brothers. You made them. You called them. Lord, they are, they are here at your altar of grace tonight. It's not an altar of judgment. It's an altar of grace, oh God. It's an altar of mercy tonight, Lord. Oh Lord, because you've welcomed them into your presence. You've, you've identified them as your sons tonight, Lord. And that they are welcome in your house, oh God. They're welcome to live with you, Lord. Lord, may you take their, their sacrifice tonight of praise, of forgiveness. Lord, may you forgive them. May you touch them tonight. Oh Lord, may you raise them up from this place, Lord. Lord, as you forgive them and you wash them of their sins. Oh Lord, may Holy Spirit raise them up from this place tonight. Lord, may you pull them out of their conditions, Lord, out of their weaknesses. Lord, and may you give them strength. May they have faith like they've never had before. Oh, God, may they see you like they've never seen you before, oh, God. As they turn to you, Lord, oh, God, may you lead them. Oh, may you be their Savior tonight. Be their Redeemer tonight, oh, God. If we come to you, if we knock on your door, Lord, you said you will open it unto us. Oh, God, you would not turn us away this evening. We're so thankful for that grace. We're so thankful for that love that abounds tonight. May you, may you do what is necessary this evening. Oh, God, may you wash all the mistakes, wash all the sins away tonight. May you make them innocent tonight, Lord. May you wash them every bit, oh, God. Lord, and may you revive them with your Holy Spirit. Make them over new, Lord Jesus. It's our prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. May it burn bright in their hearts, Lord Jesus, as we surrender to you tonight. Lord, they lay their lives down before you, Lord Jesus. Commit themselves to you tonight, Lord. You are their heavenly Father. May you provide for them. May you take care of them in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, it's so good to call you our Father. You are our Father. And we can come to you 
because you know us we're your sons tonight you made us Lord Jesus you knew we would need you you knew about this day you knew about this evening you knew about the things that would be on our hearts tonight that's why you have come Lord Jesus is to answer those needs to show that you are the same yesterday today and forever that you are still the healer you're still the deliverer tonight you're still the savior this evening Lord you see our families you see our loved ones you see our hearts desires tonight Lord we want more of you more of you tonight Lord Jesus as we surrender all Lord we ask that you would come and fill us with your Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name Amen Amen Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, you were very displeased when they tried to turn the children away from you. You said, suffer the little ones to come to me. Tell the children to come to me. Because you love the children. You love our children, oh God, because you are like a Heavenly Father. You know what's in our hearts, Lord. And these children stand before you tonight. Lord, you see why they've come forward. You see their hearts, Lord. You see their needs. You see their desires tonight. Oh, God, may your Holy Spirit come. May it bring healing. Oh, Lord, may you protect them from the devil that would seek to devour them and destroy them. May you be a shield for these children, oh, God. Oh, Lord, may you be their protector. May you be their provider, oh God. Oh Lord, may you be their substance. When they are alone, let them know that you are there. That you are that friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Oh Lord, be their God. Lord, be their helper. Be their strength, Lord Jesus. Protect them in Jesus Christ's name we pray. May your Holy Spirit, Lord, flow through them tonight. Oh, Lord, may you set them aside this evening. Oh, Lord, may you burn out all the worldliness. Lord, may your Holy Spirit take a hold tonight. May they know you as their God. May they know you in a personal way. May they have that, that personal experience with you, Lord. It's our prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Lord, we come to you. We come to you with our failures. We come to you with our broken lives, with our needs. Lord, there's not a need that is too great that you could not carry. There's not a problem that you can't fix tonight. There's not a sin that you could not wash away tonight, Lord. There's not a soul that you cannot save this evening. You are God. You are the God of the impossible, Lord. May you take these lives. Lord, you are the potter. We're just the clay. But Lord, we want to rest in your hands tonight. Those wonderful hands of grace and love. May you touch these lives, Lord. May it make the correction. Lord, may it restore. May you bring life, oh God. Where there was sorrow, Lord, where you pour in joy. Oh God, where there's the needs, Lord, may you answer those needs. Where there was fear and doubt and worry, may you bring peace, Lord, unspeakable peace, oh God. Bring grace, Lord, and love. Lord, may your love overflow us. Oh God, may it fill our hearts tonight. Make us over new in Jesus Christ's name. We commit our lives to you. You know how to lead. You know how to guide us. You are the great shepherd who leads us to green pastures and still waters. So Lord, we lay our lives into your hands. May you carry us, Lord. Carry them, Lord. Protect them and give them strength for the journey. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And there is power. Amen. Lord, there's
there's power in that name tonight. There's power in the name of Jesus Christ. In the face of every fear. In the face of darkness. In the face of sickness. Lord, there's a power that is greater. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Lord, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. You are our God. We love you tonight. We need you tonight, Lord. Lord, we come to you with our brokenness. We come to you with our needs, with our sicknesses. We come to you with our sins, Lord. Lord, knowing that you care, you would not turn us away tonight. Lord, you see our hearts, Lord. We don't want to live this way anymore. Oh God, we, we've carried a burden for so long. Oh Lord, only you know about it tonight. Lord, we can, we can lay it at your feet this evening. Knowing, Lord, that you will take it. Lord, you will bear it up. Father, that you will take care of that need. Lord, you will dissolve our fears and our doubts. And Lord, you will give us faith to rise to the occasion tonight. You will give us strength where we were weak. Oh, Lord, when we were lonely, Lord, you will be our friend. Oh, God, may your Holy Spirit pour your love upon them tonight. Lord, may you burn out all the dross, all the hindrances this evening. May you make them over new, Lord. May you make them a new creature in Christ Jesus. Give them that newness of life. Give them that refreshing in the Holy Spirit tonight. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, I lay my hands on our sister tonight. You see her, Lord, kneeling before you tonight. Lord, in your presence. 